Also, Nim might be very late for work. <laughs> no work already. Ha Nim's work already work. happened. Yeah, he's he's already there. I mean, work already. Oh, that, that's right. Yeah, work. there was brain shit that went on. What yeah. are you, what are you happening? I there remember there? that now. Don't you guys remember? I'm glad you guys remember Redo's uh, time to um DM for a bit. Yeah, I'm not singing a song about brain slugs. <laughs> but bra but brain slugs are good. Sure. Yo!
れのアートは大なもだ」「今輝かせろクールな人に」「行くぜ!」Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. 
I am Raw Zim, and this is Guild Tales Dungeons and Dragons. I will turn it over now to Cray for the recap. So, <laughs> yes. We had started our day with continuing to speak with the insane man because we've been doing that for three sessions now. And through convincing Markov, I'm sorry, not Markov. No, it yeah. is Markov. Yeah. Uh, by convincing Markov to say no to the man who everyone else in the guild says yes to, by convincing him to say no, that actually got the guy to see reason. Somewhat. Reason enough that he's agreeing to certain things that we're asking of him. So with that, we are planning on moving forward. But Nemo Terbone Chomp had a job to do, an actual job. He was going to go cooking. But while he was going cooking, apparently the otter that we had met before, name I do not recall, Richard. 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 Uh, had realized that the slug that he had given him was reproducing by means of telepathic communication. And fearing this, he went to go just rip it out at the job. And for some odd reason, Insane Science Man was also there. Because the Insane Science Man is, is, is actually interest, really interested in him. Right. Uh, Cray may have also sold Nim to get him to agree to things. That, that, was, that, was, that was a plot point, too. <laughs> so, with that being said... Um, a weird clone was made of Nim to try and trick the guy, but apparently the guy is actually smart and not just bad shit insane. So he was able to see through it. Which, uh, does not follow anything else he's done so far. But. Uh, that's a thing that's going to happen. And otherwise, we're just planning on doing the council meeting of the Azurge Senate to figure out what we're going to do about the Izzet having uh, more striked the Trans Guild Promenade. Otherwise known as, like, the one peaceful area between guilds. It is basically neutral ground. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Yep. Also, wasn't it uh, Nim's first day on the job, too? We, we, we just finished talking about that. Okay. Yeah. Alright. It, it, ha it happened horribly. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was just mentioning that he was pretty sure that was his official first day at work. Okay. Uh -huh. Fun. So how is Nim coping? Uh, Nim is not coping. What is Nim doing? Uh, he's trying to focus on his cooking and forget that, uh horrible experience he just had that's a way of coping no he's not coping uh, 
So is he rolling cooking with disadvantage now? I didn't say that. He's coping. Nah, yes, he's not coping. Uh, I... I, well, then I think he loses the advantage then. <laughs> Maybe not disadvantage, but you know. No. You know what? There's a perfect way to solve this. Roll for willpower, say. <laughs> It's called no. a wisdom saving throw. So, we've got you guys doing your meeting thing. For the end of the world spell. Uh-huh. Go ahead and get started. Boy, would I like to. Uh, Didi, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm here. So... Are you? Well... Let's see, what is your current elevation from sea level? And I may be in your general vicinity. Well, I would say I'm present. Anyway. Do, do you just generally constantly know your general elevation from sea level? Sometimes it browses. Don't you? No. Oh. You know, being in a generally coastal region, I sometimes wonder. That's fair enough, I suppose. I'm gonna give it a foot. Anyway, beginning with Graham, since since uh, there will be apparently no will save, that means that he is fine. <laughs> or wisdom save. Graham! Some people have come out and are discussing things with Malt. Oh. What, what are they saying? Uh, due to the sudden influx of people attending this meeting, they, they're going to have to do things in a, in a slightly unorthodox fashion. And they're going to have to link the meeting rooms together. Oh? Yes. However, Malt may have to, uh, listen from an exterior room, as he is a bit large. How, how dare they be sizes and not accommodate uh, ambassadors of all sizes? <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> I mean, he doesn't seem pleased. I feel like there's gotta be some mage in the Azurius that knows the shrink spell. The what? Isn't there like a shrink Reduce. growth spell? <laughs> yes, okay. yes, I believe there is. Would more like to be shrunk, is the question. I'm pretty sure that it only goes down one size category. That'd still help. Not really. How, how, how large is Malt? Uh, he's like a five by five. He's like a five. Oh. So he's, he's not just large, he's massive. <laughs> well, also consider that 
three people were riding on his back quite comfortably, and he didn't notice. I was kind of assuming he was gargantuan size. Yes. Which is ridiculously massive. Yes, quite also, huge. Also, Toshime, thank you so much for that donation. The donation goal has been completed. Hey! Excellent. Awesome, awesome. How many squares is Gargantuan? I think it goes large, which is uh, basically two oh. by two. Then I think massive, which is three by three. And I think Gargantuan's four by four, I want to say. Oh, yeah. All right. He No, he, no. he is ri ridiculously gigantic. Oh, well, incorrect us then. Oh, wait, that's right. There's a size above uh, Gargantuan. What is it? Colossal. Colossal. Yeah. Ooh. Which, that is actually the one I thought the, the that he would be. Ah, uh, yes. I'm just struggling to actually find the chart of it. One that doesn't list them in feet or so. Well, no, feet is fine. It's just one that has them all together instead of, like... Oh, well, I, I was I was saying, like, 5x5 five five in terms of grid squares. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, we're just going to go with D&D &D size. Let's find... Let's use that. Well, well, he looks for that. So what size is he? The turtle. Colossal? Uh, yes. Colossal's the 5 by 5 right? He is a colossal quadruplet. He's a turtle. However, uh, he is longer than he is tall. Turtle. He's a turtle. All right. So, large is ten feet by ten feet. Huge Malt is fifteen is by wide. fifteen. Gargantuan is twenty by twenty, and colossal is thirty by thirty. Yes. Yeah, so that's exactly what I said. <laughs> no wait. That's a six by six. Then what's a five by five? There I, is no I, five it, by five. Oh, then I guess really. he's somewhere between Gargantuan and Colossal. <laughs> Waffling between there, like a goddamn turtle. I think that still means... classifies him as a Colossal, though, even if he's just because he's larger than Gargantuan. <laughs> So interesting enough, I think colossal... until you reach the next size category, you are considered the one below. Ah. Uh, like, they are the thresholds. Yep. Yeah. Well, that means his, uh, as a quadruped carrying capacity, it's 12 times what his normal carrying capacity is. Which is he why you could... can carry people without, you know. Oh, he can literally just, like, probably, li like, carry a small town on his back is what you're saying. Very probably. He can carry over 1,200 tons. My god. So you're saying that what I need to do is get a ranger or a druid, get a giant turtle pet, and uh, build a house on the back. I'm pretty sure this one's sentient. I don't think you would be mind, mind becoming a house. <laughs> Locking house. 
with a All challenge right. rating of 17. Oh, Listen, when you when you build your turtle house, you can have a ceiling ramp before it. <laughs> Indeed, you could build a tower on his back, a mage tower, and no one could mess with it. <laughs> Why could no one mess with it? Because they'd have to they'd have to deal with the turtle first. <laughs> However, uh, you would have to then contend with us an always shifting mailing address. You're telling me if I had a catapult and fired at the top of the tower, I'd have to deal with the bottom turtle part? Um, yes. Because upon striking the tower, the turtle would then begin approaching you. <laughs> It's a turtle. A turtle that can slowly accelerate until it's reaching a running speed of about 60 miles an hour. Okay, what if I can fly? <laughs> well then, most things aren't a problem for you. <laughs> you know, except, I feel like ceiling wins. <laughs> considering ceiling grandpa's range, he, he might be able to hit something flying un unsuspectedly. <laughs> From what? The, 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 the sky? I don't think ceiling grandpa reigns over the sky. <laughs> uh, no, if I, you I, believe I, hard enough, I, a miracle I mean, can the, occur. The ceiling, cause can ceiling grandpa only shoot uh, the ceiling downwards? Or can he basically, or, or if the ceiling and the roof are basically the same, the, the same thing, could he shoot it up? <laughs> that is a good uh, question. Uh, listen, listen. That would be going into in, into the uh... deep theory crafting. Deep. Uh, if you want to shoot something up, that's floor grandma's job. Exactly. <laughs> that, that that's her jurisdiction. And, and what is and what is the roof but the but the but the the highest floor? <laughs> <laughs> remarkable. Why do you think Absolutely I prefer multi-story house? I haven't even done anything. <laughs> <laughs> and we're already here. <laughs> what did you say, Jeffrey? Why do you think they prefer multi-story houses? E. It's so they can be together. Yep. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so... And, anyways, we should probably find the track again. <laughs> anyway... What track? Malt is acquiescing to their exterior rooms and is going to tell you that with a bit of negotiation, he's gotten a room for all for all for you and your friends to be together to attend this meeting. Graham shall give Malt a uh, a, a Martin. <laughs> So, so he can still be part of this. <laughs> Do you have extra Martins? I was going to say, you have an extra bag of just extra Martins? Mart Malt looks a bit flummoxed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He'd it, just be like, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Dude, dude. I, I, I don't have the delicate touch required to caress such a creature if that is what I must do. <laughs> you do have you do, you do have to bump him in the snoot. I don't think Mog can do that without squishing it. Hmm. Perhaps if I just like gently swat its face. <laughs> I can I can perhaps manage that much. You, 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 you just got a nose to nose boop it, man. <laughs> Right. I shall do my best. <laughs> to e either that, or we could have, or at least temporarily, we could just we could just have one of one of the like the, the no uh, no doubt like the attendants or secretary or someone who works here basically boop it for you. <laughs> that may be just. The thing. 
also, I have inquired about the distribution. It seems that the guild people shall be split up so as to divide their power to discourage the start of any trouble making. There will be small amounts from every guild in each meeting room. Grab's gonna be like, Mo, why are you talking so weird? <laughs> I have been running for six hours. Wait, is that really how long it took us to get here? <laughs> oh my god, okay, no, never mind. Gra Graham under Graham wouldn't have said that because he, he would understand. <laughs> my god, Malt. <laughs> Anyway, with that being the case, your group consists of people from many different guilds. Therefore, and thusly, you can all be together in a room. Graham is going to be like, aren't we kind of like key witnesses? Yes. <laughs> That also works in your favor. I, I think As... we kind of have to be there regardless of whether they, they're they trying to balance out the guilds or not. <laughs> no. The courtrooms are divided, however, will be connected to each other with a series of projections. You will all be in the same physical room. I see. I'm kind of just imagining this is very much like the uh, Senate from Star Wars. It's not dissimilar. <laughs> she is, it's going to be releasing their new galactic empire. <laughs> With Raylo at the helm? Oh, lord. Oh, no. No, in fact, I do believe he would take them under the ocean. And then find some mysterious cavern under the ocean that leads into an alternate reality. Further and further Jerk. away from space. <laughs> Aha! The elemental plane of water! I have found it! <laughs> hmm. Fetch me my bully cat! I'm meeting Cthulhu! What a brave man. Cthulhu would make a terrifying Palpatine. <laughs> so he would because no one could comprehend his orders. They're too busy going mad. <laughs> Raylel's already there, so he'd understand everything Cthulhu said perfectly for some reason. <laughs> he would do that inexplicably. That, or he'd assume he understands and just keep saying gibberish, and Cthulhu can't correct him because he can't speak it. <laughs> Let's face it, this man has embraced insanity. <laughs> I, w I wonder, can I wonder, can can Cthulhu watch Nim Cook? Hey, or would, or would that be or would that be mean Raylo? You mean No, I, I meant no I meant Cthulhu. But you actually might be able to no, here, here, here's, past here's your how madness. you destroy minds. You have Cthulhu explain to how Nim cooks to people. And they'll oh. just explode out of existence. 
Well, this is remarkable, goddamn. Why, yes, Cthulhu, these physics are incredible. Even Cthulhu wouldn't be able to know how how Nim cooks. Wow. Incredible. I just thought it was multiple mage hands. Yeah, you... Have you... Um... Have you... Have... Have... It been described to you how, how it appears to other people whenever, when whenever Snim cooks, it apparently it's just a blur. Whenever 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 people try to see him, y you're yes. basically like blackout. It's like Cognitive King filter. It's like it's like King it's like King Crimson whenever 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 Nim cooks. The, it, it just it, happens. Yeah, and it, and it just gets skipped, but it but it happens anyways. So what you're seeing is we need the legal eagle to be struck by another golden arrow. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to wanna negotiate with the powers that be to show us how he cooks. Maybe. Either way, I think we're going way off the rail. As always. Anyway. Yes, you will be. All occupy the same physical space. You will all be in the same court or er, in the same meeting room. Mm. And Malt will be nearby. <laughs> Malt shoves his head through wall. I'm here now. <laughs> the rest of him soon follows. The, the walls are now less stable. <laughs> so, where are the rest of your friends? I don't know. So, uh, last I heard was someone, was, was Nim calling me about a crazy person. But no one wanted to explain what was going on. I just assumed everything was all right. Well, it seems that, as they say, you have dodged a bullet. <laughs> I, I, I How I... fortunate for you this time. It's very rare that I dodge bullets. I seem to attract them. Perhaps today will be a good day, then. I can only hope. And this time, Marilyn's going to be the one to get Graham's attention and just ask, Hey, so... I'm going to be sticking with you. Oh? Yeah. You know, these last few days have been very interesting. Taxing, but interesting. And I think I'm coming around to your um, more active approach to problems. I see. Well... It'll it'll be nice to have a uh, friendly face in the higher echelons of the guild. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, joining you for the meeting room. But would you think less of me if I also started being less passive? I mean, I don't really think that our. Uh... Our, our group usually likes to take a passive approach to problem solving, so... No! I wouldn't think less of you. Great, great. If I'm gonna be looking for someone, and if I see them, I... don't have a plan. So I guess I'll see, see what my mind comes up with. Who are you looking for? That fox bastard that stabbed me. <laughs> oh, uh, we kind of already know where he might 
be. Well, he I, I, I do believe like we have a. a uh, I do believe we might have a. Wait, do we have? Wait, no, we have a plan. We have a plan, and we're gonna be meeting him soon. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Nope. She's, she said it was a, a fox who stabbed her. I thought you said Felix's was the one stab, who stabbed stab, her. Stab, stab, he, he was present and he came with the with a group of Rakdos. Uh, was the was the fox Rakdos? She seems to believe so. Mm. Well, Grandma will just be like, well, you know, if you find him... You can't always give me a call, and, uh, I'll be more yeah. than happy to help out. Yeah, I think I'll do just that. How do I call you? We, we, we can set you up with a Martin when, when we get back. Cool, yeah, all right. Anyway, let's head inside. The other shouldn't be too far along. Or shouldn't be too much later. They'll probably be escorted to the room if I had to imagine. Yeah, I would I would imagine we all get escorted to wherever where the hell we're going. Indeed. And as the others arrive, they too are escorted into very large meeting rooms. You mean, you, mean the, you mean the rest of the party? Yes. Well, ah. save Nim, unless he wants to... Unless he wants to call out of work. <laughs> because you know big things uh, are happening. Graham would like to make one request before these meetings proceed. Yes. <laughs> uh, Graham would like that the... Uh, w would like that uh, the party can uh, remain... Uh, Anonymous? Un yeah. That can be granted. Because Grant was thinking, oh fuck, Felix is probably going to be at this goddamn thing, and if he sees us, and then he sees us at our little trap, he's going to know, and I don't want him to know. That's a good suggestion. That, <laughs> and that will have benefits later. Now that you are publicly stepping forward, Basically in front of every guild. <laughs> so. Eventually, everyone convenes in a meeting room. And there are quite the number of other people there seems to be a limit of about 10 from each guild per room though Oops, they really are rooms. dividing the power so to say tiny little meeting rooms I have a question. Are we actually like in a? Are, how are we like actually in like a separate room since we're kind of again witnesses? <laughs> like no, I guess the, the the thing here is that there's people from every guild in every room. So if anyone tries something, it's basically going to turn into a free for all of pain and. <laughs> yeah, suffering. if one if. Yeah, they're dividing the power instead of letting them consolidate it, because something sketchy is going on here. I thought this was just the Azuria Senate. Uh, after the bombing, everyone else got very interested in hearing what was about, or what this was about. Uh, question. Uh, I do have a question. I, I would I would be coming co coming along with, 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 my, with Commander Gulkaza, Will he be yes. will, he, will he be separated from me, or will, he, or will he come to our room? He is going. He is unfortunately assigned to a different room. Fair enough. I'm guessing like skill and power levels were also taken into account of this separation. Yes, 
I would imagine people, so. Pe people of similar powers are, or similar ranks and or powers are placed by each other. So that to, way, uh, you know, like, we don't have a fucking guy like uh, Rayla in there with a bunch of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be terrifying. This is this is a deliberately this is a very deliberate balancing act. If if one person starts something, there's there's going to be the rest who are who are then free to free to just raise up their boots and kick him. Makes sense to me. However, thanks to the exception, you element are allowed to be with the others because you are you had been recently promoted that is true however in the room seem to be primarily other guild initiates <laughs> who seem anxious at best Yeah, Graham is also going to use his scarf to cover up as much of his face as possible. <laughs> yep. Elim El El Go ahead. I was just saying that Elemin would just be wearing his armor. Ah, and a helmet too. Yeah. Makes sense. Anyone else taking uh, additional steps? Also, Cray, could you come into the room? Or select your characters. Oh. Man, I can't believe I didn't do that. I'd been wondering, like, it says you're connected, but you're not there. There we are. I exist. You exist. All right. Vicariously. If you're existing vicariously, who is it through? <laughs> Myself. Uh, I'm pretty Korn, sure that's how ghosts work. Corn will be bringing in his uh, standard equipment. Just you know, if they let him wear his armor and bring his gear, he'll bring his gear. You are allowed. <laughs> However. Okay. Do, the do they wall, ask you to remove anything? They do not. Uh -huh. However, as the meeting starts up, the rooms are lit up with holographic images showing into every other room. And at the front is the Azorius Senate. Calm, regal, Clad very formally, and one speaks up. We will now begin the meeting to discuss a recent artillery strike upon both our Dominion and the Trans Guild Promenade of a written action with dire consequences. Raylel, we have been informed that you are the one re responsible for the artillery. State your case. Well, yes, to an amount, I am. Raylel says, standing, and you see his vi his uh, image stand up in a different room. And everyone is glaring at him. However... I must profess that only the second round was my doing, and I admit, perhaps a bit hasty, some of the cakes were just tragically underdone. Cakes, Raylel? <laughs> they ask. 
You left devastation in your wake. Well, that's because that was simply what was loaded inside at the time. The, 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 I just needed some containers to deliver my apologies. However, it, ha it has come to my attention, and I have been thoroughly informed, that some people have been very displeased by my apology, and told me to inform you expressly that I shall be... Uh... And he looks up, and he reaches into his pocket and pulls out a note card. Handling the repairs that were caused by every strike. Huh, well. Alright then, there you have it. <laughs> mm. This man. <laughs> God. What? The guild, lo the the Senate looks displeased. At the, well, this is some progress. At least, at least he listened to what we had to say. Somehow. Could you put? Could you? In any possibility, speak with just a touch more sincerity, Mr. Raylel. Why, no, I don't believe I can. However, I have given you my word, and I am generally 98% true to my word. You spoke that only the second folly was your doing. Why, yes! I believe you'll find that every shell that I sent out had a sweet treat inside for the occupants. Why, I'd set them to... Why, I'd set them to the, just about the same coordinates that they were last time. Because the first... The first volley was only on the Azorius Dominion. The second volley was, um... Delivered to the affected parties, so to say. You you have a lot of people living in the Trans Guild Promenade, so I simply uh, found their locations and sent them a little cake package. So you are entirely responsible for shelling the Trans Guild Promenade. Why? I suppose in that matter, yes, it was entirely my doing. This guy, this guy is very honest. Painfully so. The council is leading back in their chairs and well, I'll, some I'll are go. closing I like their eyes. That, uh, while this is probably severe, this probably isn't too crazy for this still probably isn't all that crazy for the is it <laughs> well not probably. really not really One of but... the azurius is just again <laughs> <laughs> like... they dread every what? session or they no yeah. <laughs> they're very tired of his shit <laughs> Like they they're leading back in their chairs. Some are some are covering their hands with their face, and then they lean forward again, ready to address him, having braced themselves. Sick of your shit, Niv Mizzet. <laughs> <sighs> well, fortunately for you, it doesn't appear that there was any harm done. Somehow. Thanks to the people you had dispatched beforehand to clear the roads. However, we, we'll simply chalk that up to luck. You will be taking all reparations on your own, Raytel Rainarm, and you will be giving proper reimbursement to the affected parties as I am to hear it some shells landed in houses 
you will also be taking care of those. Are we clear? Raylel Radar. Oh, yes, yes. Very clear, very clear. Now, about that first shelling. Yes. The one that you claimed was not your responsibility. How, if we are to ask, could it be that someone activated your machinery without your permission, aimed and fired so many shells into our dominion? These did cause harm. However, as you have been remarkably forthcoming with your own crimes, we are inclined to believe your words. Well, yes, I have truly no idea who might have done that. You see, they exploded afterwards before I could apprehend them. A fine red mist. I thought the hallways could use a little bit more color. Very appreciated. So, they got away then. Well... That's very subjective. I have a I have a bit of them right here. And he will pull out a napkin with some red on it. Say hello. No, I do not believe we shall. This crazy ass man. <laughs> He's not I, I feel like his like his coat is like is like one of those like uh what is it? Like the coat of like many items or whatever where it's just like you could just like pull out like a random fucking item but his is like infinite <laughs> he might be wearing a bag of holding for all you know <laughs> I would like to motion to speak <laughs> they will they will mute Raylel's audio and <laughs> point towards you yes one of the one of the group who has asked to remain anonymous. Was I did I ask to remain anonymous? Uh Graham asked for your group to remain anonymous. Okay. Yes, Grand Azurius Senate. On the subject of the matter of the first bombardment, we had been doing some research into such a thing. I have gathered here today several individuals, uh, guild, guild leaders? That's not the word. Initiates. <laughs> no, advisors. They're the, the ah, guild. Ah, that's right, yes. The representatives? Guild, that's it, guild representatives. Uh, who have all, uh, experienced strange ongoings which may or may not be related to this bombardment incident. I brought them forth to testify, as we have seen strange ongoings that seem to be repetitive, and these repetitive ongoings seem to have the intention of pitting various guilds against each other to try and attempt to break the guild pact. Bold accusation indeed. Agreed. One I would not make without evidence. We have several testimonies and, well, events and locations in which they transpired as plentiful evidence. Regardless, uh, what was the Celestia person's name? Uh, Marilyn. And the Boros. The Boros commander? Gokasha. Gokasta. I brought guild representatives... Do you say Marilyn? Yes. Marilyn and Gokasta here today to ensure that they could speak on the matter. And give testimony of the events that have so far transpired. Graham would also like to mention... Uh, well, maybe not... Actually, no, Graham wouldn't mention this, but... Uh... I would like to mention that the entire, like, Lesnia Conclave, like, group was affected by this and would probably also be 
aware of the uh, the seeker uh, attack because Graham just slapped sense into them <laughs> and woke them the fuck up. Yeah, but I think yes. like that happened with a few people. Not, not not just the Selesnia, which is the point uh, he's trying there, to make. Is there, that, like, six there were... different guilds have expanded. What, what I'm saying is that th that they almost certain that there's probably several people from there as well who could probably testify that are here now. Yes. Right, but he's getting the guild reps because they're like of rank that their word will be taken seriously instead of some peon. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And starting. Uh, Marilyn will stand, and her room will be the one that is focused on. Yes, I am Marilyn, guild representative of the Celestia. The words stated by the compatriot of mine is factual, and these occurrences have been recent. Gathering what I've learned from the others, I have um, deduced that at, at some point during the day, three guilds seem to be stricken with some memory loss. Afterwards, an incident was made. The Celesnia were put under a strange form of hypnosis after a Orzoth man with Rakdos compatriots came forward for a meeting with the Conclave. Afterwards, I was stabbed before the Conclave and post that is a blur to them. In fact, they seem to have suffered some memory loss as no one recalls these individuals save myself. Perhaps it was due to my expired state that my memories couldn't be meddled with. And from what I've from from these notes I've gathered, it seems that you also did not experience the precise moment of the bombing and only afterwards became aware of it, perhaps after the shells were struck. So you had no time to make any evacuations or preparations. These words are factual. The Azurius say with some hesitation, admitting that they had a similar experience. And Golkasa. I'm Commander Golkasa of the of the Boros Legion. There are conflicting accounts, so to say, as there was memory loss starting from a region, expanding outwards, but it seems to have been cut short by an explosion that occurred, and it began a very open conflict with the gruel that happened to be there. We had blamed them, and they were ready to accept the blame and engage us in combat in our own streets. Uh, Graham would like to motion to uh, bring forward some evidence of uh, <clears throat> this stuff, of the source of these... Uh... Uh, blackouts. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> what evidence would you like brought forward? Graham shall uh, present uh, the, uh, the 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 broken staff from the Selesnia Conclave. And the uh, splinter, the splintered uh, staff with the uh, <coughs> with the uh, seeker emblem from uh, Felix's uh, insurance building. Oh yeah, I uh, guess it'll be like th this was. I'm sure that if you if you look, you'll probably 
find or found something similar <clears throat> among uh, any affected areas. A conclave, member will, was... <clears throat> a conclave member will speak up and say, we do have this in our possession and shall present it as evidence. And Gilcasa will say, we shall also present our staff remains as evidence. Well, Graham He's, has their staff yeah. remains. Ah, uh, so. yes. <clears throat> and After Graham will, uh... <clears throat> this was the other matter of which, uh... We needed to dis that uh, was, uh... Planned on being discussed here before. Several of these, uh... <clears throat> before this latest incident... <clears throat> this, uh, Seeker problem. Seeker? As it has... <clears throat> yes, that's what they call themselves. And Graham will start explaining everything that he knows about the Seekers and their plans. And we'll also mention that you may have noticed uh, some of the uh, non-existent temples in your area may have been broken into recently. I'm sure Bolkasa can <clears throat> uh, validate my words. As anyone with a white mana will probably, or will probably find out very shortly. This certainly riles a number of people, mostly high-ranking people, very high-ranking people seem to take these words firmly, while others look confused. Graham doesn't mention, the only thing that Graham doesn't mention is currently Felix's connection, because Yes. <laughs> Graham wants to deal with him personally. Also, he could, like, literally be here, given his position. Yeah. Very probably. Yeah, but he doesn't, he also doesn't want to give him time to, like, try to, like, like flee or come, or, like, try to, like, come up or with, like, excuses. Graham wants him caught completely off fucking guard. Yeah, you don't want him covering his tracks. Because you know he would if if he was suspecting that he was getting on being onto that they were onto him. Yes, certainly does send ripples through the audience, so to say. A lot of people are are paying attention now. And I believe their ultimate goal. <clears throat> oh, hang on. What what were those things called? Uh, Nephilim. Yeah. Uh, Nephilim. Kree's gonna like place a hand on his shoulder, <clears throat> and just shake his head, just like no. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it, it'll just be like, I, I do believe their ultimate goal is some is some uh, malicious intent with the objects they've been stealing. I wouldn't, uh, Cray would notion to speak again. Yes. <clears throat> yep, you are alive. <laughs> oh. Alright, <laughs> All right, good timing there, good timing. Um, <laughs> um, once the, uh, once our main meeting has adjourned, I would like to request a private audience with the Azurius Council. Granted. He just gives a nod and a bow, and then he goes to sit back down. I oh, will also uh, sit down for the moment. So these seekers... Are they perhaps some new 
whom do these seekers belong? Just... The seekers are guildless. Guildless? Nonsense! Guildless don't have any measure of power. These ones do. There Any, is a potent Anyone who is anyone will be or has been noticed by a guild. One cannot simply accumulate power in Ravnica and remain hidden. Gray is going to motion to speak again. Proceed. There is a potential that either an exterior force from a oh, guild that is not fans. yet known Praise has yourself. been has been assisting them to coordinate. Or Dude. potentially, there may be unseen sources at work. Grave implications once. Are you saying that, that then one of the guilds is in fact working to undo the guild pact? I do not personally believe that the entirety of one of our guilds is working against the guild pack, as it would work to everyone's disfavor. However, it, there it is... It cannot be ignored... That certain individuals in guilds may be helping them? <laughs> yeah, yes, it cannot be ignored that various influential individuals within guilds may not see to the same ideals of the guild pack. Such individuals have indeed attacked the guild pack before in the past. Fascinating. These words will be documented and pondered over for a period of time. As you are historically corrupt. However, uh, correct. this will... Am I corrupt? <laughs> yes, no, historically correct. Ever. It's confirmed. Raylo. Ray is completely this... corrupt. Raylo. I knew it. We, we already knew that whenever he bought himself a slave. <laughs> <laughs> That's not corruption. If you live in a society that owns slaves, it's just, you know, kind of the fad. That's not corruption. I don't think the Azurius tech I don't think the Azurius often takes slaves. <laughs> Also, he's not a slave. <laughs> you say that, but you still have a you still have a piece of paper that says you own him. <laughs> Where? When you bought him, <laughs> the, the thing that says yes, you are you are basically an indentured servant. All right, show me where that is in my inventory. I'd be curious to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course you wouldn't carry something like that with you. It's at your house. All right, all right, we'll go look for it then. <laughs> in the middle of the in, in the middle of the Senate meeting? Yes. No, not in the Wait, middle of a Senate you meeting. No. <laughs> I mean, we're not leaving a Senate meeting. The Senate meeting takes precedence. <laughs> They In turn reality, to he's calling uh, Ceiling Grandpa to have him hide the evidence. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Digi. Like he's calling uh, Ceiling Grandpa right now just to hide it. I don't know if Ceiling... First off, I don't know if I can call Ceiling Grandpa. Second off, I don't even know if Ceiling Grandpa's necessarily aligned with me. I'm he's just kind of there. Yeah. He's kind of a chaotic neutral being. Maybe a chaotic oh, yeah. good being. But he's kind of just there. <laughs> yes. Continuing on. Maybe he's just true neutral. That's ceiling, Grandpa. <laughs> I, <laughs> I know this was all out of character, but I kind of feel that they, 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 this all may have been in character and we were just picking random stuff at, in front of the Asurian Senate. No, no, we're not. This isn't happening in character. Yeah, good. <laughs> Go ahead, Digi. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, Digi. 
Oh no, Digi has imploded. Oh, time for me to be DM again. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. no, no. You're not gonna weasel your way out of out of be, out of you know us proving that you're corrupt that easily. Rocks fall, everyone dies except Nim because he isn't there, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> It's the way Markov would have wanted to go out. <laughs> Not incorrect. Oh, there you are. Yes. The council returns its attention to Raylel and speaks. As your guild is the one that was compromised, what are you doing? <laughs> and Raylel has the Nim clone. And Wait, seems what? to be examining it, stating very loudly and clearly, Oh gracious, I am ever so distracted! Little <laughs> <laughs> Casa growls, Put that away, you madman! As one of its legs is now backwards. <laughs> oh god. Um... Did we give, I forget, do we get this thing to speak? Can't this thing speak? It can Edith? make sounds as Edith? its tongue is half as a full foot of tongue is hanging out the side of its mouth. It just looks up at him. Kill me. Kill me. Oh. Oh, <laughs> enemy 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 is going is going to look up and, and you can you can see this shugging his arm. What the hell is that? I, I think someone needs to play the sound. The, the Full Metal Alchemist sound, everyone knows which one. No, don't do that. <laughs> we don't need to. The council is stunned as, as Raylo says, Yes, ever so distracting. Goodness gracious, I'm completely flummoxed by this thing. Oh, Lord. oh, that's that's Do uncomfortable. <laughs> oh no, that hit some buttons. That can we play like... now? Can we play now? <laughs> oh, Kolkasa stands up and hefts his warhammer. So the buffoon is flummoxed. What else is new, Edward? No, my boy. Crazy. Do not we smash can... my boy, and then pay attention. <laughs> My boy. Oh, very well. Back into the table. <laughs> as, he, as, he, as he unceremoniously pushes the slowly degrading Nim coffee under the table. Anyway. Anyway, you were saying something? Well, for starters, I believe. Wait, Graham, feel, I believe Graham also it. suddenly feels very bad for Nim. <laughs> Well, for starters, I believe it warrants mentioning that you are a horrible, insane man. Wait, for is, the is record. It, wait, is the thing recognizable as a name clone? Probably it resembles it. It resembles him enough. Okay, fair enough. Because they tried to pass that off as Nim. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I mean. E even the gruel seemed, like, unsettled. Very unsettled. I would assume so. They're did sitting the in, like, gruel civilization. Did come here? They did. Every guild came here. They just have less interest. However, there was a gathering, so they couldn't really just have no clue what was happening. You know, that's an interesting point to make, that the Transguild Promenade is, like, in the middle of the city. Like, what did the Gruul do there? I do thought the entire there. planet was a there. city. It is, well, the Where entire is, plane what is, is a consider, city. What is considered the center of the city when the entire thing wraps around? The Basically Transguild the Promenade, meeting. because we said so. Basically, think of the Transguild Promenade. It's 
kind of like the highway that runs between like every ma- major like because each guild basically like we we have it's a like major presence equator. in like this district or this district and the trans guild promenade kind of runs between them all yeah that makes sense so the trans guild promenade is also the center because the they kind of just said this is the center <laughs> This it is would the... be like, it would be like someone going out and de- and declaring Washington D.C. the center of the world, like. Start the game already! What? We got distracted by the trans guild prom- promenade. <laughs> yes, back to finding the tracks. <laughs> However. <laughs> There is nobody that seems okay with Raylel's acquisition that he for some reason thought would be a great thing to bring here. However, the He's Senate crazy. just shakes shakes it off and says, Well, first for the record, you're a terrible, insane person. And and we and we sincerely hope that one of your exper- experiments kills you in a definite fashion. Wow. Boom. They they say that they say that on record. <laughs> Again, I, I I don't I think no one, including Raylel, really has a problem with what they say. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm surprised that they actually said that on record. They're the Azurias. I don't know if there's anything that they say that's off record, to be honest. Fair enough. Every word can be, can and, can and shall be held against them, so they mean every one. <laughs> also, I like to think that there's secretly just, well, not secretly, but there's just like a secretary or something just writing down everything that Cray says to put them into like the Azurius archives. Yes. <laughs> there's a homunculus somewhere in a typewriter. Tech, tech, tech. This is what I live for. I was made for this. I was made for this. What is my purpose? You pass the butter. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> back to it once more. You. Your guild has been compromised, Raylel. Therefore and thusly, we have credible suspicion that you might be host to the Seekers. What are your thoughts on this matter? Graham would, would, Graham would like to interject here and be like, I think given some of the testimony, I think there's some slightly more uh, <clears throat> guilds with a slightly higher presence of uh-huh. Seeker uh, Pre- Seeker presence. Yeah, a higher uh, presence of seeker-friendly uh, members, <laughs> namely the uh, Orzov and the Rakdos, as they seem to have largely been involved with at least two of the incidents. I, are you sure? Are you sure it's wise to point the, to point the fingers at the other girls like that? Especially pointing the finger at Rakdos. He's more pointing it at the uh, the the uh, Orzov than the Rakdos, because <clears throat> the Rakdos were the ones who, again, <clears throat> the 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 the, uh, the stolen wood that got the. Uh, that got the gruel pissed at the uh, Boros was found in an Azurius building. True. I mean, not an Azurius, an Orzov building. Yeah. <clears throat> A bold accusation. How would you... Orzov, how, do, how does that respond? Complete fallacy. We also had our own incidents of memory loss. 
However, we can't recall anything much happening afterwards. We haven't discovered anything missing, or these theoretical temples. The current representative speaks, seeming to glare at the hologram leading to your room. However, it is documented that we also suffered a bout of memory loss. Why would we inflict this upon ourselves? Mm. Uh, Graham wasn't aware of that. No, Graham. Graham was pretty sure that they were that they would have been affected too. Oh, uh, fair enough. Gra Graham is going to be like, is, is going to bring up the point. Is uh, I I would also like to mention to to you uh, to to you Orzov representative that uh, these these people who might have been part of the seekers may have been offing several of your initiates. I'm sure you may have you you may have reports of several initiates having gone missing and money being di seeming to basically disappear because of this <clears throat> if money were to disappear we'd be the first to know about it however it does continue to end up in our coffers therefore and thusly things are functioning as they should Hmm. Gra Graham will look around and see if anyone else in this meeting finds that suspicious that Graham mentioned that several of their members are going missing, the fact that it's probably having to do with these Seekers, and they just tried to play it off. Yeah, no, there are some other people are looking at this dude, like... Is this man that... Felix's, by the way? You, you'd have to investigate. <laughs> well, we know what Felix's looks like. We've been, we've d had him had him described to us. Oh, I I thought you were asking, does this man work for Felix? No, 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 no. I want to know if this man is Felix's. He is not. Or if I see Felix's anywhere in any of these rooms. <clears throat> this man is a guild representative. Felix, after it. A very thorough examination, probably while other people were talking, seems to be in a manager's, like mm. a rank under Golcasa. Okay, so like closer to like my guild representative. Yes, like Marilyn. All right. He is staying quiet. And letting some other guy try to have his debut in it before the other guilds. <laughs> Question: As I, if as I kind of know about the the uh, the Orzov like ranking structure, would this guy be above or below Felix's in rank? Below, very much below. <laughs> oh, really? <clears throat> Then Graham will be like, "I'm I'm rather curious what because uh, Graham knows that there has to be someone of a higher rank than than even Felix's from the uh, from the Orzov here." But like, I I rather I'm rather curious what the uh, what the higher ranking members of your guild would have to say about the uh, about. Uh, your own turning against their initiates. Potentially like, to aid the Seekers. He looks like he is about to speak, but... Someone from... Someone that you know... Oh no. Who is it? <laughs> raises, raises a hand. From the room Golcasa is in. Oh, we, no. will, we will speak on this matter, of course. Our comments are this and thusly. Interpersonal Orsoft matters shall be handled by the Orsoft. 
The initiates that perish will continue to serve us after death. They may be gone from the mortal plane, but they stay with us. Graham will, Graham will uh, speak up once again. Yes, but the, 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 these, these incidents of your initiates disappearing were done by the, by the Seekers, which as we've all established, or at least anyone who has e- enough knowledge of the matters that we've hinted upon, <clears throat> you know very well that <clears throat> this is, that makes it kind of no longer an inter, just uh, your own interest, because it is, it was carried out by a, by Seekers under the direction of an Orzov. Seekers I'm curious. Were, seekers what, what were the ones you... who strike these down? From the reports I'd heard, they'd been, they'd been struck down by common brigands who were then butchered and the belongings returned. However, you do raise a good point. By my estimations, only about 60% of the estimated money these initiates should have carried has been recovered and his gaze shifts and Felix is starting to look uncomfortable (laughs) you see we keep very solid ledgers so sometimes it does seem that when someone's trying to be a little clever, we see how it plays out. However, should that person have ties to the Seekers, they shall be excommunicated and their contracts burned, along with sizable reparation fees, all of which shall be handled by them personally. If they have the assets to cover for it, Graham if shall, not, uh, shall nod uh, like acceptingly of basically that they, that they're that they, basically they've acknowledged that they might need to do some house cleaning of their own <laughs> and uh, take his seat. The familiar figure sits down. Who is this familiar figure? This person. Their name is Philip, overseer of the Orsoff Guild. Oh. And their species is rabbit. Oh no. (laughs) More rabbit. Graham will probably just kind of uh, clear his story. (laughs) (laughs) Rabbit. (coughs) Yep. (laughs) Is that is that is that some is that some player lore I smell? (laughs) Might be. Sniff sniff. And Graham will, you know, sit down and now attempt to not draw attention to him any more attention to himself from this person than needed. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> more reason for Graham to uh, have kept uh, anonymity. <laughs> A blurring and pixelation will only go so far. <laughs> yes, but that's also why he took extra precautions to like hide his face even in this room so he so that way that man couldn't just be like you are in the same room as him what do he look like <laughs> also very 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 true yes uh, Graham took extra steps to hide <laughs> his face yes Graham is properly paranoid. It's a meeting of every powerful person in every guild. Yes, Graham is slightly paranoid. I on said... top of the fact that he doesn't want anyone to like be able to stop their investigations or like 
be like, oh no, these are the people investigating the secrets and I'm with them. I should clam up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why that, that's why that's why I said properly paranoid. And Graham, having sat down again, roll me a perception check. Oh no. Uh hearing or sight based? Sight based. Alright. It's something to do with the holograms on the wall. One of them looks a little different than it did before. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Perception. Please be good. Yes! Very good. <clears throat> Marilyn is missing. What? I thought Marilyn was in the same room as us. No, she, she, was, in, she was in a room with other guild representatives. People of like ranks put in other in rooms. Uh, Graham will, uh, huh, He's However, gonna... with that, with such a high perception check, you can see her in another room. Oh no! <clears throat> she appears to be moving forward. She's in the same room that Felix is. Oh no! <laughs> Was the guy who was talking, was he, that was under Felix, was he a fox? He is not. Okay. <clears throat> Why? What is she doing? What is she doing? Are you, are you saying that out loud? No. But Graham will, uh... <laughs> Probably internally panicking. Yeah. yeah. No. Panic, 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 panic. Internal screams. <laughs> yes. Graham is screaming very internally. <laughs> as drawing attention to it will make matters worse for her in any in every regard oddly enough she's also wearing a mask <laughs> oh god uh... she's a she's, she's a phantom thief Gr Graham, Graham wanted was was fine with her being more active but he didn't think that he that she was going to be doing anything this fucking crazy where everyone can see everything. Give me another perception check. <laughs> I saw that natural 20 for a second. Now that you're focused on that image, looking around at the Rakdos table, why yes, there's a fox over there. <laughs> My god, why, Marilyn? <laughs> this this isn't the time for this. <clears throat> Does she look like she's trying to assassinate the fox or something? Her hands are empty. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, however, she I is moving in their general direction. <laughs> And no one seems uh, to be paying her much mind for some reason. Oh god! Krim has little choice but to let this play out. <laughs> he hates every second of this. <laughs> it's like, and now I'm wishing I had told her don't be more active because this was... This is... I, I thought he, she had more sense than this. <laughs> He thought he thought he she was going to investigate, find the guy, and then get in contact with him so they could deal with him properly. But no, god damn it! You you you. you Graham will you, keep an eye on her for now. You chose well. you chose the wrong choice in the visual novel. <laughs> oh no! Time to time to load a state. Oh no! This is donkey donkey. <laughs> <laughs> There is a lot of discussion between the guilds and some pointed looks towards some Orzov members before her hands are placed upon the fox's head and she shoves forward with her entire body, slamming him face first into a desk. Oh. Uh, and, and I can only assume that she's in the middle of a bunch of other Rakdos. And again, 
all the other Oh my god, why? I mean, the sudden certainly gets everyone's attention and the fuck <laughs> seems dazed. <laughs> Rising from the table with a bloody nose as, as, she, as she yells, There's the bitch! Oh god. <laughs> Graham will, uh, quickly be like, she, oh, it, that's the uh, that's the person who sta who stabbed uh, who uh, tried to who tried to kill uh, one of my guild representatives. As she slams she's his dog against... piled. Let, let, let's not let's let, let's not let's not lie. She she's getting dog piled within like ten seconds of that fucking happening. <laughs> I mean, she gets she gets another a, another whack at him against the table before he sta before he stands up and begins to restrain her, and the other rack does at the table are clapping. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, this certainly breaks up the monotony now, doesn't it? I must admit, I didn't Gr think Graham I'd did, see you again. Graham did call him out as a, as. As her as her murderer, though, so yes. I, I feel like other people should be pi basically just turn into a massive dog pile. <laughs> I mean, there there is the degree of confusion, but a lot of people are rising from their tables before he just seems to vanish. God. And they damn. are beginning to question all the other rectus at the table. Why were you applauding? Oh. It's just what the rectus do, though. Indeed, and they're very much playing it off. However, she, some others are standing up to uh, question her. Very much interested in, was that the person? Who was that? Where did he go? This is a meeting. You can't do that. However, uh, everyone in the room, give me a perception check. Oh, uh, no. Hearing yeah. or sight? I'm guessing sight, though. Sight-based. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Perception. Two and two threes. Wow. Well, Nim's not there. He's working. Oh, dear. Four. Graham. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Two, three, three, four. Well, that's a nice string if I've ever seen one. But no. <laughs> okay, Graham, you're the only one to notice. The fox seems to be in your room. Talking to one of the Rakdos Guild initiates at his table and saying, like, Eileen, is this the room? Yes, sir, this would be the room. Graham is, is gonna draw his blade and point him out to everyone. <laughs> How far away is he? Because he's gonna get his fucking ass cursed. <laughs> uh, the, the table is about 90 feet away. God damn it. Graham is charging. <laughs> now, now, now. We can have a civilized conversation, or we can do this the fun way. No introductions, little bunny. Who we called you? Bunny. Not for you. Oh, such a shame. And here I was hoping for a grand introduction. However,. I suppose my announcement will have to be in a different location. As he leaves, or as he vanishes once more, appearing on the screen with with the Azorius Senate. What fucking, how is he doing this? I, I'd like to, I'd like to roll Arcana to know how he's fucking doing this. By all means, everyone, at, every, of... everyone else. All right. Ah, corn. Pretty sure if he does that, he's gonna get slapped with like. How the hell do spells. you have a plus twelve? Artificer. 
Ah, yeah. you have double proficiency, don't you? Uh, no, single proficiency, but I get bonuses um, based on level two. Oh, okay. Uh, because it uses arcane tools. All right. But yes, Artificer gets quite quite some nice bonuses on that. Very nice. Yeah, that's pretty nutty. Horn? There's something about that Eileen person he talked about. They're not Arakdos. In fact, they seem very magically inclined, and you feel that they have set up a number of places where they can just send and or call people. Is the Eileen person in our room? Yes. I'm tackling her. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll obviously share it with the party. <clears throat> yes. Gra Gra as soon as you tell that, Graham just will just fucking tackle her. Well, he was she, she, he was talking to her anyway, so he's tackling her ass anyways. <clears throat> for conspiring with them. <laughs> You, Eileen. <clears throat> well, roll me a strength check, but I'll let you know the DC is low. I have no strength. <laughs> well then, would, would you tackle her? Girl? I would. I, you, I would like. I would like to try to intimidate her, possibly. <clears throat> well, with your with your with your hood, you may be more intimidating than within what that we did off. I mean, do as you like. <laughs> I'm going. I'm. I'm basically just be like, you, you have, you have one, ch like you, ha you have one chance. You can stay down, or you can, or we can, or you, this might be the last thing you do. <laughs> They're going to place their hands together and say, "Oh, most certainly." I have. No, I have no illusions of running away or, or doing anything of the sort. I am simply transit. Okay. What does that mean? Bring him back here now. What does transit mean? Transit is transportation. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I am afraid that that may be. A bit difficult. That room is a bit too warded, and he is no longer willing. Oh yes. So it was a so it was a one way. Then you better send. Then you better send me to him. So it was now. a So it was a one way street. I have a different suggestion. They're technically on loan, but. And more people enter the room. I'm going to place you on the map as initiative is about to begin. Everyone roll your initiatives, if you would please. Graham, Graham is killing this person first. <clears throat> Don't have a map. Don't have a map either. So what, what 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 is the entire rest of the council doing? I'm very curious. They are rising and they are questioning this man. I don't know why my as... initiative rolled twice. It's fine. <laughs> questioning a murder, uh, someone who was proclaimed a murder, who was who just teleported into their heavily warded chamber. Yep, seems so. That... That, that's the Azorius. Keep in well, mind, the Azorius are, like, usually, like, high-power control mages as well, so... The, this ain't gonna go good for him. <laughs> well, it's not gonna go good for someone. Alright, uh, let's see, initiative. Right, 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 right. Uh, there we go. Are we supposed to have a map? Damn it! Now, there uh, well, uh, Graham, how how do you dispose of this woman? Oh, I can just she's just gonna let me just like coup to grace her. You're Twist on top of her, and she doesn't seem very strong. Twist the neck, <clears throat> Nick Twisters. <clears throat> hmm. 
How much is she resist? If if I go in to kill her, how much is she resisting? She doesn't seem to be. <laughs> huh. That that brings up some. Uh, hang on, what would I roll to? What is it? I think it's insight. <clears throat> I'm gonna Why see if you... she's like possessed or something before I do this. <clears throat> Does she seem to be under any mind control or anything? She she doesn't, but she seems very complacent, unsettlingly so. <clears throat> kind of like the uh, the people in my guild whenever whenever they were like zoned out. Yes. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Um, can I just, like, knock her the fuck out? You can do that. <clears throat> Alright, Graham's gonna take the, the hilt of his sword and just smack straight down onto her face. <laughs> you connect with metal? But she does seem to go limp. Metal? <clears throat> Is she not a person? <laughs> well, she looks perfectly human, but she does seem to have something covering her face. Lamed uh, armor, maybe? I just would have thought I would have noticed a metal mask on her. <laughs> oh, no, the mask isn't metal. But wh whatever your blade connects with, it, it encounters something soft, and then something that is very deliberately steel. <laughs> So the, huh. the, the, the mask is, the, 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 the metal is under the mask. Yes. Graham is going to remove the mask. You see feathers? White feathers, in fact. An angel? Is this an angel? Oh, wait, it no. They have the fucking angel feathers like fucking Rayla. Well, no. They seem to have... A sheet of feathers where a face should be. That's weird as hell. Yes. What's and... under the feathers? Well, you may have to do a thorough search at another, another point, because apart from that, you can see a gear beside their neck. Oh no. A copper gear. However, she had... <clears throat> Hauled people. Yes. Bram will uh, deal with this later. As long as she's out long enough for her to... Uh, well, you, you you seem to have knocked her out, so... Right now, yeah. we, you have other issues to... to... Yeah, that, that, was Graham, that was Graham's basically like, Hey, I'm acting before these people. So, yeah. now I go last. Fair. Yep. <clears throat> All right. However, as they are summoned, they can't act right away, I'll say. So, starting with initiative, Cray. Also, do we have a map? I don't have one. Yes. I do not have because... one either. All right. Share. Because Malt has burst into the room, literally torn the door open, and I'd make him bigger if I knew how. Oh. He did say he'd be he'd be just outside. There should be like some kind of like thing that you can grab and size up. Hold control and use your mouse wheel. Well, that makes the token bigger, but not the grid space. Duke. Oh, if you want to change the, the grid, uh, go to them in... I mean, Malt's grid space, but yeah. I suppose this will do. You can edit Malt in the combat tracker, and there should be a size there. And you should be able to edit that. Oh, there it is.
All right. Malt has burst into the room in all his stone turtle glory. <laughs> <clears throat> As Prey, over to you. Graham is in trouble. <laughs> all right. Hmm. That's a master of cruelties. That is. And four cacklers. Where's the exit? Uh, over by Malt. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Because something else appeared round about there. And Malt right. was clued in that bad things were happening. So he has literally charged into the room and torn the door off its hinges. The door is now a wall. Where's the wall? He made well, a hole. Yeah, a hole. <laughs> a hole where a door used to be. So the wall is now a hole. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Literally walked through it. Um, I'm not wearing armor, right? Uh, you got you were allowed to bring everything that you have. No, I just I don't think I just I just don't wear armor in general. I do not believe so. No, monks generally don't mess with that armor stuff. Yeah. Uh, is there a key thing that allowed me to? So you disengage or dash. Okay. Turn. How would I know what my jump distance is? I don't recall. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Do you not well, have a fly speed? I oh, don't. No. I'm, I'm a kid. Ah. They're the flightless bird. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're the birds with wings that wish they could fly, but they can't. <laughs> yes. They're also mimics. They're also... Alright. Uh, I move for my turn. Yes, but in which direction? Well, uh, what's it approved, you'll see. <laughs> because the DM oh. needs to approve it. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Tokens unlocked and tokens. Uh... Well, darn, I had the whole measurement thing. Is it shift? The shift give me that? No. How do I get the ruler out again? Do I have to do a pointer? Like right click and then pointer. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I have a stupid idea. Right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm 80 because I have a movement speed of 40 starting at level 2 because I don't wear armor uh, because I'm a you are just getting the fuck out of there just... yeah yeah uh, uh, that's a master cruelties that's a solid no <laughs> I'm, I'm gone I know what this is uh, I don't I don't, I don't know what his stats are in D&D &D, but I know what his stats are in Magic the Gathering <laughs> <laughs> I ain't I ain't playing that. Cray sees that. He stands up, he turns around, and he books it as fast as I, his legs can go. I would step of the wind if I think that would do anything. <laughs> uh well, actually that was that was my movement and my standard action. Can I can I use a key point to use step of the wind to do a dash an action as a bonus action? Yes. <laughs> okay, I, I spend a key point just to get another... Does a dash give you a full movement? Uh, I believe it can, it, it counts as adding your full movement. Okay, then yeah. Then so that's, that's why a... you can move twice your movement if you use an action, and 1.5 times if you use a bonus action to dash again. Can you please reshare the map? I accidentally closed the map. <laughs> oh, yes, sure. <laughs> then I'm moving there. I'm just... Out, y'all. Motherfucking Cray! 
<clears throat> just like, yeah, I don't care about my party. Not even. Bye. <laughs> He doesn't this might be something fight. I can take. This might not be, but I'm scared. <laughs> I've got our exit covered, guys. <laughs> oh lord! I think Malt already had that covered. <laughs> nah. And I fucking there's no way I don't go last. <laughs> well. Seeing as though they were just summoned, I'm I'm going by the summoning sickness rule, so element. <laughs> element is uh Wait, you're going hmm? by summoning sickness rules? They were just brought here, so they they need a moment to adjust. That would imply that they were brought here by a planeswalker. No, they were just teleported here. Ever? Yeah, it's very interesting. Guess. God damn it! <clears throat> Say, hey, uh, what? I, I need I need I need uh, we need to be ne right next to a person to grab them, right? Yes. Yeah. You need to be in melee distance. Okay. Is but, uh, considered a grapple. Okay. Element 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 is going to move right next to Graham to grab him. <laughs> All right, you, you grab Graham. We need to we need to get out right now. Graham will just be like, Malt's here. We can take them. Hello, Cray. Bye, Cray. Hmm. <laughs> I with the with the with the way Cray just run away. I I I I think this is something beyond our level, Graham. Cray's been... running so fast. He's Naruto running. Yes. <laughs> so I'm. I'm... Malt barely registered him. Hello, bye. So, I I, I can move, grab someone, and, and then move back with my remaining with my remaining t uh, speed. Can I? Yes. You oh, can, I can. You yes. You can split up your movement between your actions. Okay. So I began here. One, two, three, four. As long five, as it's not six, like an attack action or six, something. Six. Oh well, no, that's that was all. I, I, that was actually all my movement, so I, I can't move. I, I'm just grabbing, grabbing, staying there. <laughs> yeah, very, very much. Graham did leap on, leap towards the Rakdos table. And by the way, all the other guild recruits initiates. They're they're out of there. They're out of there. That's a master of cruelty. They are literally cannon fodder. <laughs> so they're following Cray. However, well, they're also scared by the turtle. But since Cray ran past it, it's probably fine. <laughs> okay, I, p I passed my turn. Malt just arrived. His, tur his turn was getting into the room. However, th that is a sire of insanity next to him. <laughs> Motherfucker. And noticing that the uh, in sudden influx of people heading in his direction, probably best to try to get the exit clear. Uh, that is a hit. Did you? Uh, Jesus, Jesus, Malt is strong. Jesus. Uh, Did you? Yes. Uh, don't forget about their passives for both demons at the start of every turn. Yes. Uh, be right back a moment. Uh, 
uh, let me just look over the Sire of Insanity again. Yeah, he only Malt is in the range of it, so he's the only one that should do, be doing a... Ah, the Wisdom save? Yeah, just the Wisdom save. It'll be the same thing for the Master of Cruelty, just so you know. Yeah, once it's his turn, properly. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a different effect, though. Uh... Goddamn Rakdos assholes. <laughs> what is the effect again? So for the Sire of Insanity, it's the Aura of... Oh, Mind hold on, Road. yeah. Yeah, it, it'll be on page one. There it is. Yeah, oh, there's okay. that... Uh, Red button again. Malt has failed and has disadvantage on wisdom and charisma checks and saving throws. However, he's still gonna lean down and bite. Jesus Christ, you are strong. Oh, well, wait until uh, uh, it's my turn. I almost wish I'd gone before Malt. Chop. <laughs> I'm back. As Malt does a nice amount of damage. The system takes into account like the resistances and weaknesses. Uh, resistances make it take half damage. Does the system do that for you? Yes. Yes, Fantasy That's Grounds nice. does that for you. That's nice. That's pretty cool. As Malt is ripping into this thing, however, it doesn't seem as effective as it could be. Over to Corn. All right. Let me delete the square because we don't need that one. So Corn is going to spend his bonus action to dash uh, natural ability from the Naga to get an extra 10 feet. So I move 40 instead of 50. Oh, it's 40 instead of 30. And that puts me within range of Malt to cast Enlarge. Oh my god! His size Bigger double. Malt! Bigger! Malt got bigger. It literally says his size doubles, and he gets advantage on all strength and constitution checks. My god. I, I think he might have just become a colossal. He is well, he's bigger than a colossal. If there I were such a thing, he's about to be 10 by 10. <laughs> well, he's he is currently uh, 30 feet across. He now moves to 60 feet across. He's now a 60 by 60 foot area. Oh, and his uh, weight increases by, by a factor of eight. Uh, he'll fall through the floor! He'll fall through the floor. He'll step on these guys and just turn them into paste. So, uh, as DM, you'll need to increase Malt's size. I can't. I, I, I see. Did you sound so afraid? I I don't know how to calculate this. Uh, question. Um, how high can uh, Maul jump? <laughs> uh, well, I'm not sure. As Maul explodes in size. I don't feel like turtles can really jump. <laughs> not really not... gallop, Malt gallop, might be able jump. to do it but he'd need a running start at the very least but what if we cast jump on him and have him jump on them like like a reverse Mario where the Koopas are Mario 
Yes! Remember, if he doesn't fit, he only grows unto the point where he does fit. He's Which means gonna... he can move up, so <laughs> yes, but... Mm -hmm. There you go. Look that, out, that, corn. Look. That's the size. I'm assuming I get pushed back a little bit. Yes. Uh, I can't grab my token. There we go. Slam. My word. And that's my turn. Giant turtle. I mean, a lot of people got pushed back, and I have to admit, the Master of Cruelties ain't really paying attention to Graham anymore. That's, <laughs> uh, that's hey. a problem right there. <laughs> that's a right and proper problem for them. Oh, he also gets plus 1d4 per size category increased damage. God. <laughs> yeah, no, Malt is gonna just eat them. His stomach will do the rest. Oh, by the way, somewhere else the guild representative is doing some stuff, because the Rakdos at that table are... Uh, up to some nonsense, it seems. My fucking... Don't tell me she's gonna fucking die again. Well, no. They've uh, produced their weaponry and uh, are currently engaging with the other guild representatives. She has pulled out a bag of tricks and has summoned a lion. <laughs> uh... However, since they're in, a, they're in a different room, I'll remove that. Uh, uh, quick question. If I glance around the other rooms, or is every Rakdos here fighting fucking the other guild representatives? They're not. <clears throat> oh, fucking. <clears throat> In fact, there seems to be a great amount of confusion with the Rakdos, as some of them are just suddenly turning very swiftly. Or, or, here's another question. Are they turning against each other? They are not. Fucking asshole, Rakdos. <laughs> I mean, they seem to be divided into two: some that are just completely bemused, and the others, and uh, and the other group is seemingly with with that strange fox man and attacking other other guild members from other guilds. Yeah. Why did they? Why did they drop the, this terrible this? Why, why did they drop the most terrible things into our lap? Why did you force us to do this, Marilyn? I mean, I guess she thought she could take him. I guess she. I guess she thought she could knock him out and then point out and say like, "That's the dude. That's him right there." So, anyway, Markov. Who, who's next? My go. Markov's. Wait, uh, can I get the little ruler? Oh, here. Is there a ruler option I can pull up? The so right click, uh, go to pointers, and then go to app, draw arrow, and the arrow is the ruler. Right click and. Uh, right click, and... pointers, arrow. Okay. Okay. And once it's placed, you can move either end in the distance updates. Okay, gotcha. Cool, cool. Markov's gonna move right there. Oh. And the arrow's still there. Nice. And then he's gonna use his breath weapon on the, uh, on the master. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna give How that a try. Alright. 
You have um, the line or the cone, because you can hit multiple enemies. It's a line. Then you can still hit multiple enemies if you go down two squares. Okay. There you go, that, that you line would hit can... those three. Okay. Oh, okay, that works too. You know what, let's do that. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Gorn. That's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Your breath weapon, each creature in the area must make a saving throw of type which is determined over your draconic ancestry. The DC of the saving throw is equal to H to your constitution modifier and your proficiency bonus. It should be somewhere in your sheet already, I would assume. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes. Oh. And then you just drop saving throws on everything that's hit from your, uh, like, actions. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's a saving throw of 14. Alright. Drag and drop them on every target, and... Or, or drag the... Yes. And I'll roll to... And I'll see if it, uh... Okay. Well, the saving throw from his thing should like automatically yeah, like, like roll that. for them. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I just do that. Yep. For everyone, yep. and I'll tell you which ones fail and or succeed. All right. Don't forget the master of cruelties. Yep. M two. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Cackler number five succeeds. Cackler number nine fails. Cackler 13 succeeds. Master of Cruelties succeeds with a natural 20. Jesus Christ. All we need to do is survive long enough for the, uh, the mega-sized malt to do his work. How much damage did Malt do to the uh, to that uh, sire of insanity? Before or after resistance? <laughs> uh, I guess after resistance. A lot of damage. It was. Okay, so uh, thirty-five. Yeah, I know. Graham might be of the opinion that we might need to run. <laughs> Okay, so the Cackler 5, uh, so which one succeeded or uh, failed? Nine. Nine? Yes. Okay. Everyone else succeeded, unfortunately. Dang, all right. At least the damage is halved, so. All right, this is for the Cackler 9. Nine damage. Neat. And then uh, how do I do it so it's just halved? Or um, if you go over to the plus minus top the right, call? yeah, there's plus minus. Okay. Oh, hey, there we go. All right, and then this is going to be for the master. Oh, why did it not? Ha. Oh, that's because he yeah. he's partially resisting. Okay. Oh, okay. Then. Would you like me to roll for Cackler 5, or is there... Yeah, uh, you can uh, just do it again for the others. Okay. It'll be fine. Gotcha, I, gotcha. Can, I can edit it on my end if... Oh, okay. I was supposed go. to... Uh... I realize what I messed up on. Aha. Ah, okay. Um. Mm. 
I'm assuming I'm doing this right. Does seem like yes. Does. Okay. So that was supposed to be half. It was. Okay, nice. A and good opener. A good opener. Nice. All right, and then I shall pass the turn. Uh, it's the next actor's button next to menu. Or it's okay. the next actor's button at the bottom left. Bottom left? Okay. It's the dragon head with a down arrow under it. Okay. They're not getting their turn. Graham, you're being held very dearly. <laughs> Graham will point to Elm and tell him to grab that, the, 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 uh, the mechanical feather lady. Remember that Graham has to do a Winston saving throw. Yes. Ah. You you started your turn in the vicinity of the Master of Cruelties. That passes. <laughs> I got wisdom for days. Fight <laughs> though. So. Alright, and then Um I might need I might need a token to uh for this cause uh we're gonna cast spiritual motherfucking weapon. <laughs> Ooh. Right next to the Master of Cruelties. Alright. I'll pull something up. What is your spiritual weapon? It's a sword. <laughs> ah. Wait. Is it a flying sword? It is. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it, there's no way that fucking hits his asshole, does it? <clears throat> that missed. As, 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 how, actually, how, ac yeah, no, Graham is gonna tell Eldman to fucking. <clears throat> what? To, to carry the, the lady, because Graham has shit for strength. <clears throat> okay. And then he's gonna start uh, falling back. I think I think I can can I can I can I like release you out of turn? Uh, yes, I would allow that. Okay. It's very easy to not do a thing. Fair enough. <clears throat> Graham shall come down here. Oh, and uh, Graham is also good. Enjoy your flying sword! <laughs> it, I'll just, uh, I'm just doing it for the token. <laughs> yes. I mean, it is a floating... It is a magical floating... Sword? Like, like, yes. gl like, spectral weapon, so... Flying sword! Ray hates it. He doesn't, he doesn't know why, but he's filled with animosity. <laughs> And Can I even oh, yeah. see the uh, flying sword past the giant and cursed. It is cursed. It is cursed. So purple flames and black ash start to rise off his body. Very unhappy. What's Nim been doing? It makes me really sad that I can't use War Priest on uh, a spiritual weapon. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, Graham's turn. The Sire of Insanity yeah. is... Uh... Ah. What? Pardon video. Ah.
I was about to say, is this, is this yeah. the sire, is this the sire of insanity is Maru? Maybe, it's the sire of insanity, it's chaos. <laughs> so, the sire of insanity is now a mark. I guess, enjoy that. I guess. <laughs> If you guys notice, there's a little duke that uh, plays before each video now. And it should come through uh, Discord. It yes. does. I know, I know what I'm looking for with that, sir. Yeah. Every, However. I have to point it out, but, you know, once I do point it out, you guys notice. It's a, uh, you know, uh, little robotic duke sound. Ah, then put it in so he doesn't miss Martin videos when he's playing. Yeah, because mm, some of them yeah. don't have sound, and you know they're only played for thirty seconds. So it's Cackler's five turn. Wait, what did the match of Insanity even do? Uh, it 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 was its first turn. It was at literally the bottom of the initiative. These guys, since they were just brought here, don't have their first turn. Oh, okay. Well, did, did However, you know what Sanity did? It set that crazy music that we all made our saves for. Yes. <laughs> it, it, now, it, it is going to use Hasha's hideous laughter. On Elevent. <laughs> You succeed by a flying margin. <laughs> you succeed by a mile. It laughs at you. You don't care. And then, and then he just, just stares at it through the visor of his helmet. I'm blinkly. Cray, over to you. Ah! Excellent. Okay. So I'm just gonna continue running <laughs> <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna exit combat and see if I can't <laughs> check on the actual Azuria Senate themselves. They are also in combat. <laughs> exactly. I care about them. They're my. They are my guild. They're my guild leaders, mind you. That room is quite the distance away, but I guess you could continue to sprint. Yeah, I've, I've got the 40 movement speed. Why the speedy boy? So, Cray exits this combat. There he goes. There and goes everyone loses a little boy. bit more respect for him. <laughs> nah. Well, Elamin doesn't because he kn he knows where he's going. Graham loses respect for him. We we could have we could have fallen back to Malt, used and, and you know had let Malt take care of the the major dangers and then gone there. Okay, but like this logic still applies. If we're just going to let Malt take care of everything, then why, why stick around just to be like, yes, Malt, go ahead, take care of that. Very good. Yes, yes. <laughs> Corn has to stay, otherwise Malt shrinks again. Right. It makes sense oh, for Cool. No. <laughs> but for Cray, he's like, well, this is taken care of and I'm not fucking with that, so. Mm, that's fair enough. Oh, so, so if Malt didn't bust through the door, you would have helped us? Notice the silence. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> This is just it's a Cackler 13. I will neither anyway. confirm nor deny. Let's face it, you, you, you're straight up denying. I will no, not right. confirm nor confirming. deny. Sorry, it would be confirming in this case. The, the actual way to state it is I can neither confirm nor deny that statement. Yeah. <laughs> it's fluttering forward and it will use Firebolt. Oh, on no. Markov, who is superimposed. Oh. That's Pick a square and stay in it. Pick a square. Gotcha. I was trying to zoom in and zoom out, but I'm gonna stick in this square. Unless you want me to stay in actually in a square. Uh, yeah. I, 
Yeah, I you're mean, like, like you're like in the middle of four different squares right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you, we go. You're, you're slightly juxtaposed. <laughs> there Sorry. we go. You're fine. Uh, Firebolt on Markov. That will hit. Unless your AC is above uh, above a twenty. Ooh. No, I'm not that cool. Well, don't worry. This shouldn't hurt much. There we go. It's fine. Element, over to you. Enemy, enemy is gonna go ahead and and do what um, Graham asked him to do: to pick up their feather lady. Is this you her? Hoist her up. She is remarkably light. And he's going to go towards where Grang is. Do you remember the aura for Element as well? Oh, I gotta do a wisdom shape. Yes, you do. Uh, yes, you are. You have started your turn within the vicinity of the Master of Cruelties. That passes. And he's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. There we go. Oh, Walt's oh. turn. <laughs> Unless you were gonna do something else. Nah, I was I was about to pass my turn myself. Sorry about that. Oh, totally fine. Uh, time for a wisdom save. At uh, a minus. I, uh, I, I do have a feeling the Siren of Insanity is probably in trouble. I can imagine that. You know, I kind of get the feeling that we're in trouble because can can Mod see us to 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 make sure he doesn't hit us by accident? He might. Well, as long as you avoid his legs and just go down his middle, he'll probably be fine. Turtle's legs are very spaced out, after all. That is true. And I don't think the sire of insanity is is, is small enough for, to do that. He's still fairly large, and Malt's focus. Mm -hmm. So, God, how much do how much do I increase Malt's attack by, though? So he gets a, he gets a advantage on the attack, and an additional sixty four damage. Sixty. Six. Six D four. Oh, six D four. All right. 60d4. <laughs> <laughs> Very cheeky, but no. Not unless he body slammed it. He could. He should. He's not used to that combat style, but I guess he could try. He'll take out a support pillar for this room, but he can try. Actually, in his own so the DM to collapse the room on top of us, Cray. Rocks fall, everyone dies except me. I was smart. <laughs> well, no, the turtle's gonna be fine. Yeah, you think? Rocks you fall, think? So? The, the, the the turtle body slams. He he fall. He he kills the uh, sire of insanity. Falls through the floor and crushes Cray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, if the room starts to collapse, I'm getting under the turtle, because he's probably stronger than the roof. Yeah, no, you're probably right. <laughs> Alright. This... I mean, even if you all die, Nim's okay, because he's not even there. <laughs> yeah. You are but correct. This... The earthquake that that that's caused by malt body slamming the ground creates the fissure, and your whole restaurant falls into it. <laughs> and before Rectus, Hickman just show up to try and kill Nim. <laughs> yeah. It's like first it was the slugs, now the Rectus. I don't want a job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Nim. All he wanted to do was work at a restaurant. And this. There was one other thing regarding the uh, enlarge that I probably should have mentioned. Did oh, yeah? Malt resist it, or did he accept it? I imagine he would have accepted. 
cool. Because if he resisted it, then he would have made it, had to make a save. But if he accepts it, then it's not a problem. All right. It's mostly an issue if you try and reduce the enemy. Yeah. But with a. Uh, uh, with Malt's size, I figured doubling his size would uh, make him an <laughs> extremely scary monster. Indeed. Yeah, no, uh, he's turning this sire of insanity into proper paste. Punching through its uh, resistances and doing a nice after resistances. 45 damage. Oh god. <laughs> As, as Malt hits like a fucking truck falling out of the sky on top of the Sire of Insanity. <laughs> and I'll remind you that odd numbers are rounded down. <laughs> That's not odd Corn. numbers, it's decimals. Alright. Corn uh, is going to take a... F Take a five foot step to uh, make sure there's a little extra room just between him and uh, Malt. And I'll say, he rolled pretty badly that time around. <laughs> and I'm going to take a shot at the Master of Cruelties. Hit. This uh, loud gunshot just echoes out across the room. It connects with its armor. And Grab. Oh, yeah. The Master of Cruelties begins his turn properly this time. <laughs> And he is moving down. <clears throat> I'm just hoping he doesn't have this, uh, like, okay, the giant turtle's scary, but I know that the little snake is making the giant turtle big. <clears throat> Why he's, would you got, he's got something he's got, he's going to do. He is going to use Captivating Presence. On? Everyone within 120 feet of him. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> each creature will, must make a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by the master for one hour. While charmed in this way, the creature's speed is reduced to zero. If the charmed creature takes damage, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on its on itself on a success. Oh god. When when you succeed, you are immune to it for twenty four hours. Uh, are you gonna just roll the saving throw thing for that on us or, or you want us to just roll? Just roll so that everyone sees. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Elemen, you barely make it. Grab you will be having none of this bullshit. <laughs> malt. Please, Malt. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no! Well... I, I don't I, think Trump <laughs> person lets them, turns them against their allies, though. I don't no. think. <clears throat> and this does seem to be a unique charm. It just reduces his speed to zero. <laughs> Community reroll! Quick! I mean, if it makes you feel better, I did roll for a wisdom check, not a save. Oh. Well. <laughs> when it's a You need to roll word, wisdom yeah. save. <laughs> when I roll a three, I... Oh, yeah, oh, that's Markov, yes. Markov, you still don't make it. Nope. Nope! You are not you... a wise dragonborn. <laughs> Your legs are 
paralyzed. Legs, cooperate, please. The legs are paralyzed. It doesn't matter who hits the great fun, <laughs> right, boo? Oh, <laughs> I hear it a squeak. My hamster is getting it. If we be adventurers, let us adventure. That's some influence. I do okay, hear that influence. We got one uh, a miner from Toshime for a party reroll. And then a major from Ethereal Influence for Malt Auto Passes. I can accept these. I can accept. Uh, so the party has one collective reroll, and Malt shrugs it off. Uh, were we making it a rule we can't bank these now? Um, no. That's fine. Oh, okay. I, I thought I saw something changing about the ethereal influence with that. Never mind. I think there's going to be some price changing at some point. But that's price change, a little bit of price changing. Uh, I am taking away the uh, minor and moderate influences from the cobalt marks though some things such as a re-roll will still be available with marks uh, otherwise influences all crowns and i that am i i myself am going to be a bit more not exactly strict but things that are just off the wall like we have had in the past uh, they won't get pa they won't even go to the DM. Um, I'm just going to be denying those because they are just... If it's too much, sorry, it's just not going to be allowed. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yep. Anyway, that will be the turn of the Master of Cruelties. Rather displeased that only two of them were captured. Markov! What was that? Alright. Your speed is zero right now. Your speed. Okay. Also, hey, does it matter who get who who gets harmed by the who gets harmed by to get the charm save throw? Technically, it wasn't worded, so it wasn't worded very specifically. So no. Okay. Well, at least now, thanks to that influence, I don't have to I don't have to Eldritch blast Malt <laughs> to get him out of being charmed. <laughs> Can I throw I mean, one of my hand It was at everybody the, uh, gets trackers? a re-roll on that. Oh. Yeah, it was a party re-roll. For a oh, minor? I was... Yeah, I thought it was one re-roll that the party could use. The Actually, one yeah, for a minor could... that would be just one, but uh if we're moderate, that would be a full party allowed, but yeah. Well, Markov, you go ahead and take the re-roll then. Stuff. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You pass. You are uh -huh. not paralyzed. You are so not the only fucked. person paralyzed is the person in the corner with the ranged weapon. Sniper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no. The sniper has no legs anymore. But yeah, wait, the person... he's a snake. Ha ha. Yeah. The person who wasn't going to move can't move. <laughs> hmm. All right, that changes everything. We're gonna go up to the crackler and then uh, attempt to hit it with one of the hand axes. Ah, uh, Toshima, it's all right. Uh, the the only person who's currently stuck is the person who doesn't care about moving right now. 
<laughs> because he has a gun. <laughs> a gun. My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure. It's still adventure. a party reroll. Is that another one? Is that... That's a proper full party reroll. All right. Well, there's my reroll for a 19, which means that also passes. Score. Good job, Corn. He has no captive audience this time around. Just in case you wanted to move. Just in case. <laughs> He's gonna hit the crackler. Roll thine attack. Strength check, right? Or uh, what are you trying to oh. do? Oh, I was uh trying to hit the crackler with the uh axe or hand axe. Oh no, that's just an attack roll. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Derp, 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 derp. Derp, derp, derp. Uh, you can roll it onto them. The one you're trying to hit. However, uh, so which one were you aiming for? I was aiming for five. Uh, that would connect. Thanks. Thanks. It is wounded. It is. Take that, you goofy little monster. And I turned the turn off to crack with number seven. It seems very displeased and will attempt to use Tasha's hideous laughter on you. How unfortunate. But I need to make a save, right? Or is that... Uh, it are, it's automatically made. You got a five. Oh. Let's see. You suddenly perceive everything as remarkably <laughs> funny budget. and fall prone, incapable of standing up and effectively becoming incapacitated for the duration of the spell <laughs> in a laughing fit. At uh, the end, be... at the end, at the end of your turn, you can make. Oh. And every time you take damage, you can make another Wisdom saving throw to get out of this. Okay. Funny. Hacklers are unfortunately vile little gremlins. However. And this one flutters up to smack you with a spiked chain. And misses. It connects with your armor and pinks off. Funny. Graham, Markov is laughing very loudly. Yes. Ram sees this. Uh, oh yeah, uh, what's, Markov, the, what's the aura on the Master of Cruelties? Mark out, pretend you're laughing. Ha 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 I'm pretty sure I need to make a wisdom save. That's how Mark yes, laughs. You, <laughs> you pass. Right, if if it's Markov, is it then Polov? <clears throat> She'll Polo. come here. Oh. 
Jeff, we're going to slap you. <laughs> I'm Jim, surprised can I request he gets thrown into the well? <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't been thrown in the well. <laughs> and I shall attack this crackler. And fail. You miss. It floats above thy blade. Alright. Well, shit. Oh, and I, I should have, I, sh nah, I, I gotta say. You, go. You've also got your flying sword that can yep. attack. Yep, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna move that. Uh, if you could move that back down to the Master of Cruelties. Let me use my bonus action to move it. 20 feet, so it'd be up, uh, up, up one. one. Yeah. And move it over one to the left one, please. Just in case I need it for this crackler. <laughs> and it's going to attack again. A critical. A critical. <clears throat> Cards in. Get in it. I think this technically counts as. Uh, I think Flashing. it's magic because it does force damage. Oh, magic then. <clears throat> All right, precise magic, maximum damage, and roll them damage dice again. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> yep, you know how to do. You know how to maximize it. Yes. Yes, I do. Wait, did it say maximize and then roll again? Yes. Yes. Huh, that's weird. Basically, you get to attack twice, with one of them being a maximum possible damage. And I really doubt he has any... He can resist force damage, so... Doesn't seem to be the case. <clears throat> and then I roll damage again. <clears throat> No, uh, no, no and now I add curse damage. <laughs> yes. Curse damage. What's the curse damage? Every time he takes damage, he takes extra? Or every time you yes. deal damage? Every time he takes extra. damage, he takes damage equal to my charisma. Yes. Just because I... Well, I think it's per attack, not per damage. Like, Because that was... I think that counts as one attack. Yeah, that I would am one. inclined to agree. So there we go. And that is my turn. Sorry, Markov. I couldn't help you. Ha 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 ha. It's okay. Ha 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 ha. So should we be. Uh, trying now to I'm take wondering if I should. <laughs> His desire of insanity is turned. Now, what shall it do? Oh, dear. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. It's going to use Crown of Madness. It's going to use... For those of you who know what Crown of Madness is. No. Nope. good. I don't know what that is. Nope. I do. It's pretty good. Gr ah, is just okay. trying to get his part is just trying to fight his way out of out of like fight his party's way out of this fucking mess. Is that really what it can do? No, 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 no. Hold on, that is not applicable. A humanoid target. Thank God. Alright. 
So it cannot do that. Poof. Uh, it shall try to attack Malt now. That the initial plan is not out the window. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. Oh. Or it leaves confusion. It'll try to cast confusion. And the only the only target being malt. Mm. Malt. How about that check? Or how about that save? Malt saves. Good one, Malt. Good one. Hello? Hello, yes. Hello? Hello. Yes, hello. Welcome to existence. Uh, Toshime, you troll. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cackler 5's turn. It's going to, it's going to it's going to try and slash Markov. Stop it, that tickles. It'll pink off your armor again. Wait, doesn't it get advantage because he's prone? Yes, it's still mm -hmm. losing even with advantage. It's still wow, it, it has terrible. I was like, it, I guess Markov does have pretty high AC. AC, yes. It's only eighteen. That's it was that's still pretty. High, that's still pretty high for level five. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, Since Gray I is imagine out of you're there. still running. Mm, not entirely. I wanted to actually take a moment to see if I couldn't notice anything else going on besides the attack. Just to try and see if this wasn't a facade and see if there's like not another target or goal that they're going after here. Kind of like how all the other quote-unquote attacks had ulterior, uh, ulterior motives. I feel like this like this attack was gonna be like there. Ha ha! We got you, but Marilyn kind of screwed that. Marilyn's kind of screwed that over for them. Whenever I was like, "That's him. That's the man who tried to kill someone Marilyn. in my guild." Mm -hmm. She she really did like force them to be a, a lot. She forced them out out into the open much sooner than it seems planned. like they uh it, it definitely seems like they they had planned all of this from the start they took they how did they get all this preparation done who knows well you have some of the question yes the one seemingly in charge of transportation even and she was part of the rakdos she was at their table, but upon Korn's closer inspection, there's no way she's wrapped us. Well, Korn hasn't had a chance to inspect her, so... Well, his Arcana roll shows that that's white mana she was using. Ah... Either way, do I see do I see anything fishy? Uh strangely enough, the hallways are silent. Alright, then I'm going I'm going for River Hall, the grand Poobah is in. See the official title of the Grand Pooba? No. <laughs> this is Aria Senate. I'm I'm go I'm going there. 
<laughs> You're gonna be running for a bit. It is Keckler three thirteen's turn. Yep. It will try to slash Graham. <laughs> With a I see. Chain. <clears throat> An 18. That definitely hits. Alright. It strikes at you with a spiked chain. Ow. This damn little amethyst. That hurt. <clears throat> ouch, ouch. Element. <laughs> You're. You're carrying a lady. Okay. Okay, I have a, I have a question. What is uh, Mark of Under right now? Uh, Tasha's hideous laughter. Is that, some, is that something that can be negated by being hurt? Uh, he can reroll his wisdom save if he is. Okay, question. If, does it does it have, to be, have to be something that hurts him or just something that, 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 that touches him? It did say take. It did say take his damage, or at the end of his turn. So you can't throw your healing spear at him. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> ah. Also, you can't use anything else till you use up all the charges on your healing spear. So if you want, you could you can jab me with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. Well, actually, no. You probably can't because you're carrying the lady. It, well, think, a javelin is a one-handed thing, and yeah, this lady is pretty light. Yeah, I thought that thing that's very I, I was about okay. to say. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm good. I actually don't. I actually don't have this spear with in my weapons thingy. Uh, like, it should be called a mahogany javelin. Actually, you, you should probably stab Markov with the healing spear. <laughs> but I'm I'm good. I'm healthy. Yes, but you'll take way more damage than I do <laughs> because oh. you're prone. <laughs> well, just roll it as a javelin. Then. Okay, we can we can add it yeah. after this combat. Sorry about that. Yeah, I guess I put it in your inventory, but not your attacks. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. I don't think Markov's going to resist, so you might as well just roll the healing. <laughs> oh, I thought I had to wait till my turn to, like, resist the laughing. No, 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 no. You're getting stabbed with the with a healing javelin. <laughs> oh, rude. <laughs> Do I miss or does... Uh, uh, or... Again, unless he's trying... Unless he's actively trying to prevent you from doing it i think you just auto hit oh i guess i i guess i deal damage and that damage will heal him instead i that i don't know i don't know how much healing the javelin does yeah how does that work actually G? uh well it is tech he is technically receiving an attack so i suppose it would work it is simply negative damage. <laughs> so, uh, re-roll your save and heal seven, Markov, if you have been damaged, which I don't. Wait, no, you have taken some damage. I've taken three so far. So, or uh, that uh, seven. I'm pretty. Was that for just for the javelin? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. yes. So. You are back down to zero. Mm -hmm. Alright. And now that means good And re-roll your wisdom save. Okay. Hey, there we go. You get up. <laughs> Things aren't funny anymore. Oh, that was fun you just it lasted. Get, did you just get stabbed? You should, and you have... And uh, you're it, fine? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have a spear on your on your side for a moment before it disappears and goes back to my hand. You have three more charges of this. If you have three. Okay, and with that, and now I'm I'm gonna keep moving away. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Malt starts in his aura. Ah, that doesn't pass. That doesn't. Let me read this again so that I make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Of bloodlust. Uh, take an attack action, making one melee attack against a random creature within reach. He has a reach of 15. He has a reach of 15. And there are one, two, three, four, five available targets. If there's more than one, he just one is just randomly chosen. Yes. So. Let's go. All right, good luck. <laughs> he attacks <laughs> the Sire of Insanity again. <laughs> How, How fortunate. Because I, I'll not lie. He has th three of the available targets are Corn, Element, and Eileen. Eileen is the, is the woman that I'm carrying, right? Yes. <laughs> Thankfully, he did not land on your numbers. We got lucky. We 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 won a if a twenty five percent. Yeah. So if you oh no! Make, you should, if you run a three. You won a three fifths percent. <laughs> because the other two targets are the 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 master of cruelties and the sire of insanity. Okay. So a 60%. Yes. And... Malt attacks. Wait, no, he's got advantage on that. Right, right. Jesus Christ. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Go, Malt, go. He is just eating this thing. I think enlarging Malt was the correct decision. No. Oh, no, it was a very, very good move. Indeed. Very good move. Right, that is an additional Oh, did I there it is. Yep. It is severely wounded, as now rolling properly this time. He did about... 80 damage after resistance. Oh god. Malt, though, you, you... Corn, you turn Malt into a true monster. <laughs> into a kaiju. Congratulations, you have your friendly kaiju malt. You have your kaiju. I'm not going to complain. However, uh, 
until the Master of Insanity goes away, there is a tiny chance uh, about it that he might take a snap at one of you guys. Yep, so Quan's going to move there to try and cover uh, Elliman and his uh, precious cargo. I'm then going to summon my cannon there. Ah, setting up additional targets, I see. So let's take a... While it says attacking while out of ammo, my gun automatically reloads itself. Ah, because I see. I, I upgraded them to repeating, to repeating, so... I always have infinite ammo with it. Right, right. You are very resourceful, Korn. You, you have see. infinite ammo. Yes. Every time I pull the trigger, the gun is reloaded. You see, what but, he did was he, he clicked... He, he bound the clips together to make an infinity symbol. He bound the clips. <laughs> I, I, that sounds more like it just reloads itself and not that it has infinite ammo. <laughs> no, no, it actually generates... It magically generates a new bullet. I shoot it, and then after it hits the target, the bullet disappears. Oh, okay, that's cool. Neat. So I actually have infinite ammo with the musket. Will a 19 hit? Uh, Master of Insanities, let me check again. Or er, Master of Cruelties. Yes. And then the cannon making its shot. I'm guessing a five won't hit. A five Actually, would miss. It should be something different, that. Type ranged. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Sorry, my apologies. It should actually be... It should be plus seven, so it would have been... Eleven. That would still miss. Okay, then. That ineffectually pinks off a shoulder, Pauldron. All right. <clears throat> well, I'm also setting myself up like this, so if Malt does make a snap at, uh, at, at Elliman, I may be able to intercept it. You're a brave man, Corn. Well, I can also end a spell at any moment, so if Malt chooses to attack me... I can choose to end the uh, end end his enlarge. Would be very beneficial. <laughs> I can just imagine like he's reaching out to snap me, and I just like nope. Then he just shrinks. Would that would that just cancel his attack because he's out of reach? I would say yes, <laughs> because he will probably return to his size, probably at the doorway. So th that, that's my emergency get out of jail ca free card with uh, with Malt. <laughs> so, very it's clever. Time for the master of cruelties. Oops, is going to come over to introduce himself properly. Hello. Oh, I no. Hello, troublesome children. Going somewhere so soon? It seems that you're not very interested in the theatrics, so let's get to the dance. Let's get the what? Let's get to the dance, and then... And he's going to attack Elemen. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. We need a critical miss card. Alright. What type? Melee? 
Uh, piercing. Is it melee, range, natural? Melee. Butterfingers, you lose your grip mid-swing and your weapon goes flying 1d4 plus 1 times 5 feet away in the direction of your target. Hmm. Well, that's embarrassing. You could, you could, you could hear, you could hear a, a, a small bit of laughter on on no. their elements helmet as as the as the um, as the as the weapon just fly past him. I, I gotta say on this card, I understand what they were meaning with this, but by order of operations, oh, yeah. at most that would be nine feet away. Yeah, it's not very <laughs> far, but. <laughs> You know, I understand what they were meaning by it. Just, it's not mathematically it, it correct. It might have been, it flies 1d4 plus 1 five foot squares. No, it's a, it is listed 1d4 plus 1 times five feet. Yeah, so I'm saying if, if they should have said 1d4 plus 1 five foot squares. Yeah, something like that, yeah. But anyways. Why has he moved? I thought it was just his weapon that got thrown. He's going to collect it. He's going to collect it. Ah. Yeah, you could Speaking yeah. of which attacks of opportunity, if you want. Ooh, I get an attack of opportunity. And, 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 well, if yeah, you choose, because you've got the healing spear at the moment, and a lady in the other arm. Actually, well, I guess you could drop your musket if you want to pull out your range of range to what? Wait, no, I guess I guess you have other ways of attacking because you're a snake. Does my bite connect? It does not. Damn. <laughs> and I mean, and I mean, it's not gonna do the attack. Of, can an attack of opportunity be a cantrip? Only if you have a very specific feat. Okay, then I don't have it. I can't, I can't attack the opportunity unless you want me to heal him. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only make attacks with these specifically because I have natural weapons available to me. Okay. I, I just really want to see if this guy can make a, uh, a Fortitude save DC 19. Yeah, Element, you need to get rid of those goddamn charges or we need to uncurse that thing. Enemy, <laughs> enemy is, is going to make a restrained laugh of, of, of what well, he just witnessed with the Master Kurti just missing him completely and, and and making his weapon fly past him. <laughs> you, you, I will say you, you guys are getting very feet. fortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I'm very fortunate, but I'm but but I'm still ha I'm yes. still laughing about it. Markov, you're fine. Yes. However, you are still prone on the ground. He's gonna get up, and can I swing at him again? Or is yes. That... Okay. We'll no, that getting up only takes about fifteen feet of movement. All right. Cool. Cool. Get up and swing at. What, what was I even swinging at? Five. He's gonna get up and swing at five. That connects. Nice. It is terribly wounded. Hmm. Mm, might as well. He's gonna use action surge and do it again. Get him. However. These things seem pretty sturdy. Oh, that just misses. Bang. Alright. Then I pass the 
Unless I whiff my rolls, Crackler 13 is going to be in a shitload of pain real soon. Crackler 7. Where is 7? It's going to use Firebolt on Markov. Oh no. Oh no, fire. And whiffs. Number nine. Will attack with a spiked chain. It slides across Markov's armor, but does nothing. Ah, uh, yes. Neat. Graham, it is your move. So, the spiritual weapon, just because the, uh, the crackler is right next to it, uh, just gets to attack! Don't need to use any of my bonus actions or anything like that. It whiffed like a bitch! Actually... A 14 does hit these. Oh, nice. <clears throat> All right. I, I was just like, I just saw the, I just saw the eight. I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's hurt. It's... Yes. And now this I seems more effective attack. than Markov's. <clears throat> Somehow. <laughs> yes. Here. So I shall use Purple Flame Blade. <clears throat> and smack! And that connects. So he takes that. And did that add the fire damage? <clears throat> or do I have to roll? No, I think it should have added that, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> it's perishing, for certain. <clears throat> However, <laughs> it begins to laugh. And every creature within 10 feet of it make a wisdom saving throw. As this laugh seems truly terrific. That means the other cacklers too. That saves Markov. A wisdom just... save. Oh no. You take three points of psychic damage. Ouch. As it collapses to the floor, expired. I wonder if this can cause a chain reaction across the cacklets. <laughs> well, funny you say that because they have also failed their wisdom saves and are taking damage. <laughs> By the way, be because it will make a difference later, I have to ask, do you run fireballs as area or volume? If you cast Explain. a fireball on if you cast fireball on a five foot by five foot by five foot corridor, does it just go thirty feet either side? Or does it because it's a really in tight enclosed space, does it end up shooting a long way both directions? My ruling is volume. <laughs> The, uh, the, the fireball laser is a thing. You get a box. You put a tiny hole in one side of the box. Uh, DG? You yes. put fireball inside uh, the box and you point it. The, the, 
The crackler that died, how far away uh, was it from the Master of Cruelties? Pretty far away. It seems to be... Is it more than 60? 40 feet away. Oh no, if it was, if it's within 60 feet, it'll activate his feet on the crowd ability. Just uh, so you know. As the cackler perishes, I would say something more... flows to it. Oh, no. Something flows to the Master of Cruelties. And he seems a bit stronger than he was before. God damn it. It's almost like he, there was a reason he was accompanied by all this fodder. Well, now I can't... Now I'm not allowed to kill them now. So wait, why are we allowed to kill them? They're dead I, I mean the to strengthen the Master of Cruelties. Oh, yikes. Actually, we're level 5 now. My, my, uh, it's still dead either way, but my flame blade does more damage now. Yeah. Yes. Let's see. Ah, a sire of insanity. Goodness. It's with all, with all of its tricks failed, it will desperately attempt to attack Malta. miss. <laughs> it scales a rake across his armor, armored carapace, ineffectually. And so the, but uh, that uh, hits. Fire, the fireball laser, to put it in perspective, if you make a, if you have a cube or a box, and you have a one inch diameter hole, by the volume rules for, uh, for fireball, I get to shoot at a 16 million foot long beam. Yeah, no, I, okay. I don't think this don't... is gonna let you game like okay. that. Okay, that you can't, you can't do the, you, you can't, you can't like do the peasant railgun. Oh, you know, every peasant, you know, can like free action pass this thing to the next peasant, and since it'll only take one turn, they end up throwing this ladder at like a, like a thousand miles an hour well, that's why i ask is it area or volume you, you say volume, it, it is more. never volume <laughs> it is always I... area oh i mean For like reasons I, I like that if, it, <laughs> if if it's in a corridor then i i'd say it would go outwards in a possible co in a cone expanding in whatever directions it could once it ex escapes. Basically, like, whatever area that it lost might be gained in the directions that it could travel. <laughs> Not so, fucking fireball laser. It won't remain condensed once it leaves the box. <laughs> you see what I mean by, like, that's just something simple that you can use to break the game. I suppose so. Yes, but by the rules, there is no such thing as volume rules for a reason. In uh, second edition, there was. And they stopped it because of people doing fireball lasers. Exactly. It hasn't been around for a very long time. I played in second edition, so... Anyway, Cackler number five. It's going to slide over. Past Markov, would he like to make an attack of opportunity? Yes, he would. Think, oh, wait, no, I don't think my, my floating sword gets an attack of opportunity. Damn. This does not. Taste hand X. It was a uh, crackler nine, right? Five. Five. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, am I even close? No, I can't. Uh, it moved past you and exited your threat square, letting oh, me make okay. the attack opportunity. Gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> that connects.
It expires upon contact. And Make let the more wisdom yes. saves. Yes. And Make the master crafter stronger. And Guess what? Element and corner in range now as well. Uh, it's only a ten foot square. No, I thought it was fifteen. No. Well, that's lucky. Two wisdom saves, if you would. For sure. Or, yeah, yeah, the wisdom saves. Uh, pass and pass. You do not take psychic damage as this thing expires before you. And the Master of Cruelties gets whatever that was again. And I'm just like, Markov, why? <laughs> Let's have a fun fight. Raise <laughs> elsewhere. Element. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. Okay. Can I'm can is you can pass through friendly squares. Yeah, I, 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 I was gonna ask, is Malt big big enough that 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 I can be, that I that I could go below him and, and move and, and move through him and then my turn below him? Yes, I will allow this. Malt is very tall and with turtle legs the way they are. Okay, well, basically, uh, can I? Uh, I can I sprint with with the with with the lady in tow. You may. You may. Thank okay. you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Sprint is five times movement, or four times movement instead of double move. Is it? It, it? Huh? Sprint? I thought... Sprint is four times movement in a straight line, isn't it? I thought it was just double movement. I'm pretty sure that's I, that's not a thing in 5th edition. I think it's only doubled. Oh, I'll check on it real quick. If you used it. Yeah, dash. that's 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 like Pathfinder. So, when it comes to it... Now. In combat, typically you have your move action and then your action, which you can use to dash. Uh, when you're using your action to move, it is considered a dash action instead of a sprint. Oh, sorry, I, I went. I, I meant to say dash. I used that wrong terminology. Okay, so it looks like uh, in the player's handbook it is uh, sprinting is another way to say it if you are using both your move and uh, action to okay. uh, move, then you are sprinting. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's what I did. I just doubled my movement. And I ended there, so... Yep. Mm-hmm. Tis Malt's turn, but the Master of Cruelties is still nearby, so... Wisdom And save. the Sire of Insanity. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Let's say that was the Sire of Insanity. It's not looking good for Malt. Not for his checks, anyway. Oh, jeez. All right, least, fortune be good. At least Element is safe because Malt can't attack something directly underneath him. <laughs> he could just body slam the ground. <laughs> huh? I will say you are a lucky duck. He's going for the Sire of Insanity again. Wow, this combat has turned out very well for you. Indeed. Is Malt gone crazy? Uh, he's he uh. If he fails his wisdom save while He's in the vicinity of the, uh... oh, that's right. Element, I need a wisdom save. Oh, forgot all about that. But your wisdom saves are generally pretty good. 
Well, I still need to do it. Oh dear. Well then, you would have uh, used one of your movements to stab Korin. But since it's your healing spear, it's not really a problem. <laughs> the only real effect of this is that you would have... Well... Gone Sorry. less spaces. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. And, and the healing spear becomes useful once again. <laughs> As you're incapable of harming anyone because of insanity. Yes. <laughs> so it attacks someone, is it? So it just randomly attacks someone. Yes. Oh dear. Within within melee distance. <laughs> what okay, is good. Malt's reach? It's not just melee distance. Beforehand, it was about 15 well. feet. Now? It'll uh... Be because it's doubled. God. <laughs> He's got that long turtleneck. He's got that. Well, I'm hey, glad it, we were here to help Malt. Everyone except for Cray. <laughs> you're never gonna. You're never gonna. Imagine, everybody imagine just being at work right now. Nim. Nim, Nim, Nim is at least working. He, he, he's, he's just living his doggo life. <laughs> I, I like the, uh, the, the way the, the map looks right now. It looks like Malt is trying to eat Element. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> God damn it. Damn it. He's so small. He's like a goldfish. <laughs> the snack that runs away. And large person. Actually, it's just enlarge. It's not even a large person. It's just enlarge reduce. It doesn't even need to be a person. And the sire of insanity finally becomes a paste. Dead. It perishes under a vicious turtle assault, despite having so oh, much health and being resistant to physical attacks. Malt just powered through regardless. And turns to look at the master of cruelties. If the matter of insanity is dead, does that mean Mold is no longer confused? Because I think I thought that 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 he was the one that put this problem. No, in. the sire of insanity is not the one doing it. That is the master of cruelties. How oh, fair enough. My bad. The, the the sire of insanity was reducing his willpower. Fair. fair. Oh wow, that's a nasty combination. Oh. Terrible combination, yes. It had the potential to give him some trouble. But we were very lucky. I am so glad. Corn. You pass. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing I don't give a crap. You don't care. You don't feel. You don't feel particularly bloodthirsty today. We have a we have people who are very who have a lot of wisdom. All right, so let's do my musket against master cruelties. Hit for minimum damage. Oh. And then my Eldritch Cannon. I've not seen that word before. Wait, you get... It, you, you get two attacks? He said of a I, turret. He said of a turret. Okay. I, I get one attack and then my turret gets one. Now this is force damage, so it may bypass what the... It may bypass its uh, resistances. Ah. 
strangely enough, these hits do connect, but it doesn't look like he's been hurt. Explorers gave him temporary HP, the fuckers! Is he, uh, wearing armor? He is. Metal armor? Why, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, actually he does. Armor! Armoire. I know exactly what you're about. <laughs> or heat metal, sorry. <laughs> yep. Hey, you can cast that too? You got a lot of actions, friend. No. Next turn. <laughs> okay. He's putting it down as a show. You can click on the button, I believe, to look at the spell. It doesn't let oh, me was... look at it. <laughs> Oh, I was shame. dropping it there so people could take a look at it. But no, that, that's my like, this isn't quite working. I'm going to do this next turn. I will t take a five foot step though. That's a good idea. Master of Cruelties has identified you as an issue. <laughs> you are a problem. Well, at, at the very least, Korn. You put you you got him to come to within range of movement range of my uh, spiritual weapon. <laughs> so you are to be my dance partner then. So be it. Is uh is enlarge uh a concentrate? Wait, no, that's not a thing in this game. It, you, it, you don't... It, it, it is concentration plus one minute. I mean, like, you taking damage, I don't think, makes you drop the no, spell, I, though. I, I've been spending my bonus action every turn to keep the concentration going. Okay. Yeah, if he does take damage, though, he does have to do a roll to keep the concentration. Does a 16 hit? Yes, a 16 will hit. Uh, was the Master of Cruelties... Was this the turn before or after the... My bad. How long he has it been since? You. No, no, no. How long has it been since the crackler died? When he got his bonus? Has it been uh, more than one turn? It was last turn. It was last turn. Um, because he does get advantages on attack rolls, so he checks and uh, because of that. That's right. He does just keep that do in that. mind. Yeah, it's just one turn, but keep that in mind every time something dies. He's he's already hit, so. Yeah, but now it's we put, met again. It's put the <laughs> other. <laughs> Damage two? Did he damage himself? Hold on, I I dropped. I that didn't work. That didn't, because his token is bigger than corns. We just that. <laughs> Could also just roll the damage onto corn on the combat tracker if it's easier. Perhaps. <sighs> However, he does have advantage. Who knows? He might crit. Oh well. Oh, corn. Yeah. Is corn in a lot of pain? Ow. This guy has multi attack, unfortunately. Okay. So that is 2d6 plus 4 piercing damage plus 3d8 psychic damage. And with multi attack, Ouch. does he get an, an, does he get another attack? He does. Mm. Oh dear. He's identified you as you're an gonna issue. Be in, you're, you're gonna be dead. <laughs> or you're gonna be okay. <clears throat> oh. Corn, you're gonna be okay. I, I might have to heal you, Corn. Thankfully, oh, he missed <laughs> with a fourteen. Oh. These guys have not been rolling great this time around, or most of this combat. <laughs> and Jesus smiles upon us. So it does. Watch me survive this, and then next turn, Malt, Malt fails his will save and decides just to finish me off. Don't forget to do the constant now that, he, now, that his will, that, now that his will, now that his power is higher, he fails. That's right. Uh, concentration check. Now that you've got walloped for twenty-two damage. Or is that not a thing because you're spending your bonus action? 
It should be whenever he takes damage. It should be. All right. I think there's a feat that prevents it, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I have don't it. have that feat. Okay. Um, so is it a? So Sorry, I've what's told... going on? My uh, headset Arcana cut out for a moment. Uh, Corn is rolling a concentration, uh, like okay. save, basically. Concentration con is a constitution saving throw. <laughs> And I, if I remember correctly, it is half of the damage taken, or ten, whichever is higher. And he's correct. So you need to roll an ol. You need to get at least an eleven. I believe in him. He's got good stats. Oh. No. I, I saw it on that fourteen for a moment. So yeah, I, yeah. I saw it too. <laughs> All right. So yeah. I failed my concentration. So. Uh, Malt, Malt is now on a one-minute timer. Oh, he's on no, a minute timer? It's concentration, then one minute. Oh, I that, see. That's, that's ten turns. I think he's fine. <laughs> no, the, it should end the spell. Or, it also, or it's, it's concentration plus one minute. So I've lost my concentration, so it's not continuing anymore. It also means I can't shrink him again if he decides to hit me. I have oh, lost wow. control of the spell. Because when I lose control, I can choose to either end it, um, so I, I I lose my control of the spell. It's n sorry, mm. but no, that's not correct. Uh, it is concentration up to one minute. Oh. So you can hold it for up to one minute, but then it ends no matter what. And then, of course, the concentration makes it end immediately if you lose that. Okay, my apologies, I misread that. So, yes, he does Malt shrink. shrinks. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun while it lasted. As the turtle shrinks. The, and the ceiling collapses because Malt is no longer supporting the ceiling. <laughs> oh, hello, Elevin. <laughs> Where did you get down there? I was under you. <laughs> I am so, I am so glad you did I, I am so glad you didn't shrink on top of me. Why is Malt yes, slightly yes, uh, like off? He's uh... there. <laughs> I just trying to figure out where, which square he's in. There. Now he's proper. Markov! That's me. On my way to save corn. He's gonna give that dude attack of opportunity and then just make his way to the master. Alright, it will take that attack of opportunity. It'll bite him. Don't forget the beginning roll wisdom. Oh, yep. Ah, yes, wisdom save. Did he start his turn in the Master of Cruelty's area of effect, no, though? Yeah, I thought it's he was out of range at the beginning of the turn. It's, uh, 30 feet. Yeah, no, he would have been fine then. No, then he's outside, okay. he's oh, fine then. Okay. Uh, Still it, fine, I think. The bite, that cackler bites you. Ouch. Successfully. He bit your back. <laughs> Oh god, that kind of hurt. It, it bit your shoulder. Ow! That's not funny. <laughs> All right, he's gonna oh, well. go. He's gonna go hit the cackler now. That's cool. Master of cruelties. Uh oh. You miss. Um, can I use my little star for anything? Uh, that is inspiration. Can I use it? You may. Oh, you cool. I'm going to use it just for that. Oh. That can... Uh, you didn't roll it on him, but... Uh, would you like me to re-roll it? No, that hits. 
Okay. This time I'll roll it on him. Oh. There we go. Aha. I saw the five. Yeah, that no, was that was. Sure. <laughs> that was scary. That would have been cool. You connect with this imposing figure. Will that be your turn? Oh, yep, that's my turn. My bad. Cackler 7 approaches and seems worried that things are not going well for them. And will firebolt corn, <laughs> hoping to try and work with its boss. Oh dear. That connects. How much damage is firebolt? Uh, 1d10, but it rolled a 2. You're fine. <laughs> okay. You get slightly singed by a not very impressive firebolt. Cackler 9 tries to engage Graham. Yeah. With its spiked chain. And 17. That hits. Ow. And that's everything it's got. Grab! I, I don't want to waste an attack to empower our... The, the the evil boss. So instead, <clears throat> I'm going to use my bonus action to move the flying sword over to the uh, Master of Cruelty so it may attack. <clears throat> and then... Doo -doo -doo -doo. That misses. Damn it. And then... Eldritch Blast. That misses. Yes. Second Eldritch Blast. That connects. And curse damage. And good damage it is. And that shall be Graham's turn. And back to the top. Craze away. Element. <laughs> Elvin? I'm here. Give one moment. I'm looking I'm looking at something. Uh... Graham is feeling slightly worse for wear, but not nearly as worse for wear as Corn. Corn could use some stabbing. <laughs> what is the, what is the range of a javelin? Uh if you throw it, let me check. I wanna say it's like thirty feet. But that there's sounds usually two correct. ranges. Uh, usually they, standard uh, range and extreme range. What is what is the stream range about? Uh, roll at disadvantage, but like, cause like you're just chucking it extra far. Ah. Uh, I guess I can do that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can. You can ch chuck your javelin. It's it's a bit of a shot, but. And that, now I think you'd basically want to roll uh, 
your attack against uh corn uh you miss <laughs> Yeah, I got, got and the javelin even returns me, to your hand. Even with me wanting to get hit, that's a miss. Yeah. And I mean, and I mean, it's gonna curse that he it curses up that uh, on the hit press that he misses and just keep, just keep running away. He does have a hostage. <laughs> you don't need to necessarily run away. Just stay behind. Just. Just stay out of Malt's attack range and stay behind him, because the party might need some healing. I can, I, yeah, well. Uh, um. My, my, sad, 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 Oh, thank God. Malt passed. Oh, thank God. I don't believe I appreciate you, sir. Malt is going to shove me and my turret out of the way. Just moves up, just whoosh. <laughs> I don't think you could. Can you do that on your turn? Is this is Malt's turn. You know I'm saying Malt just pushes us out of the way. Malt's okay. moving my sentry. <clears throat> I don't care for you, sir. Or Malt, his attack no longer slaps as hard as it used to. <laughs> he doesn't get miss. the bonus P4. And he doesn't get advantage on the attacks anymore. Hit. <laughs> and that's Malt's turn as he <laughs> as he bites his arm and one of his one of his swipes rakes across the dude's chest. Or is that you fail. So it's a melee attack, or is it just an attack? Melee attack. Ah, oh, damn. Against a random Markov's... target in melee range. Yeah, Markov's in your in your range since you've been scooted. It's fine. <clears throat> okay, does it state what the attack is, or I just have to make an attack? Just an attack. A melee attack against a random target within your reach. Alright. And a random target within my reach? Yes. Yep. So, 50-50 Markov or the Master of Cruelties Markov, call high or low. High. I rolled high, so... Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I hit... Oh, you called correct, so I didn't, didn't hit you. Oh! oh okay. You know, that makes me feel better. Thanks, Corn. Um, I'm just trying to think. Would I attack him with the musket again, even though I'm at point blank, or would I try and bite him with my fangs? Well, you'll definitely have disadvantage if you try to shoot him point blank with a musket. I, I also think I, I provoke a, an AO, but it's also what... <laughs> It says you have to do a melee attack. If you can't make a melee attack, then it's a range attack. Oh, okay. yes. In that case, it's a bite attempt. Mm hmm. Nom. That's a hit! Oh! Uh, in that case, he needs to make a fortitude save DC 19. Constitution save, I think. Yeah, constitution save DC 19.
Did you... Yes. The Master of Cruelties has to make a constitution save. Oh, pardon. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-two, did you say? He yes. passes. Okay, he doesn't fall asleep. Also, you can probably add the constitution save to that attack, so you can just roll the saves onto him. Okay, I'll try and figure out how to do that later. But the bite does do some damage. Um, the fact that I was forced to bite sucks, because it means I can't do half of my other stuff. Mm. I was going to cast a cure on myself. Yeah, unfortunately he forced you to attack instead of letting you cast your spell. Alright, well since I've already made one attack already, I may as well continue and make it a full round action to attack with my other natural weapon. Alright. That's a fail. And then the cannon shoots. Does the cannon also have to roll a disadvantage because it's a ranged attack? I suppose. And it's in melee range? True enough. It, sh it should. It should be in disadvantage because yeah. it is literally in melee range. Oddly enough, that's better. <laughs> I, I think better. that still hits it. Hits him. I don't know, though. Digi, does that hit? Yes. You? Just barely. So it has 17 AC. What a weird number. Very weird. Alright, Master of Cruelties. I wonder Not if looking still, so good. I wonder if he still uh, is out to get corn. <laughs> like, he, corn just bit him and he's like, oh, that that's poison. I wonder if the I wonder if the if, if the cacklers are just gonna off themselves to empower their boss. <laughs> They might. They might. <laughs> or they could keep trying to chip away themselves. They've been getting a bit fortunate with you. Yeah, but I might just backhand the, the, the guy behind. <laughs> nah, I'm going for the Master of Cruelties. He... And, and then we'll have more people to interrogate once this is over. All right. Corn high or low? Uh, low. He's attacking Markov. He's attacking. Ah, a fresh dancing partner. Let's get this underway. All right. Jeez. That's that's a lot. Godspeed, Markov. Godspeed. Nope. <laughs> As he turns his full attention to Markov. Oh no. And this time, with a practiced swing, knocks him on his ass. In a single flurry of blows. Ouch. Markov! No! The heck was that? <laughs> Poor Markov. We knew ye well. Uh, ye well. well. Make a dead saving throw. Alright. Oh god. Uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> well, you can't fail any more rolls. Nope, no more failures from here on out. Right? Elemen, throw your spear at him, please. 
Uh, actually, since he's technically prone, he has further disadvantage on that. <laughs> Mark, oh no, cacklers. Corn oh, no, will get a turn first. Corn has healing. Graham, if a cackler flew past you, would you attack of opportunity in? <laughs> um, it depends on who they're going after. <laughs> I need to roll this. <laughs> what will they do? Because if they're going after Markov, Graham will end them. Before they get within aura pain range of Mark. Cackler oh, said. No, he can't. Oh, shit. He can't. Cackler 7 is engaging corn. Thank God it rolled. Thank God. It's going for the healer. So Corn is also slapped pretty well. <laughs> well, these things don't will don't do that much damage. Okay. He got a 1 on the d6, but he is corn still looking pretty sour. <laughs> GG. Yes. Did the Markov really die die? Or the just, no, is that he's, a, he's, oh, okay. he's rolling death saving throws. Oh, okay, because it said yeah. death there, and I was like, oh, hold on, hold on. If, <laughs> if he rolls one more failure, he will be dead. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, because that counts as two, that's right. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I got a 1 on, like, the worst timing. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. I'm just making yeah. sure. Yeah, I no. thought he really died. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next turn and see if I actually... Right. ...actually kick the bucket. Right. Oh, right. I can't... I can't even save you. Wait, wait, Markov, that would have been for this turn, because you just went down. Yes. So it's at the start of your turn that you roll those. Yes. <laughs> at the start of his turn, he rolls those. <laughs> yeah. So you have one turn, and thankfully, these cacklers seem to be more interested in corn. This one's throwing a firebolt. 15. Does a 15 hit? Yes. Oh dear. as Graham is now going to have to perform cleric duties and actually heal people. Okay. Still up. They've been getting very low damage. <laughs> oh, God. Corn, <clears throat> how good are you at healing people? <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, then I leave it to you. <clears throat> First of all, uh, Spiritual Weapon shall attack uh, the Master of Cruelties, because I dare not attack a, a, a cackler <laughs> and I AoE mean, kill anyone. <laughs> I mean, at the, that, oh yeah, that's right, he's in range. <laughs> He's in- one of them is in his range. Oh, a critical yeah. hit! <laughs> critical Just hit when you on need the, it. <laughs> critical hit on the, um, uh, magic on the Master yep. of Cruelties. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Magical Barrage. Maximum damage and an additional target within range is affected at half potency or the spell's area of effect is increased by five feet. Oh dear. Fuck! Oh, oh. no! <laughs> oh no! That's no. not good. That's <laughs> not good. Does, it, does it have to- do I have to use it? Yes. Oh, on the plus side, Cackle 7, the closest, is healthy. So there is a chance you won't outright murder it. It is half potency, so I guess it takes half. It'll take half damage. So, what was the first part of the effect? Maximize uh, maximum damage. damage on the master. Yeah. yeah okay. And that's, half that's what, that's max what I on the 
Uh, cackler. Alright. Max. Master of Cruelty. He gets hit by that. Because he's cursed, he also takes curse damage. He's not looking wonderful. He's <clears throat> and I, I still haven't done anything else to this man yet. Uh, and then and you've hit him twice. Max half on the uh, cackler. <laughs> I think you uh, just half roll on the cackler, unless it's also maximized. Is it? Nope, Tim? it's maxed. Oh. <laughs> it's half of max, rather. Also, you didn't Luckily, clear that's... the crit. Oh. Which means you needed to rem you got to remove eight of that damage. <laughs> All right. Yes. That's something Digi has to do. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, he did not perish. <laughs> Thank God. I'm gonna. Just hey, go the ahead enemy's and not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take the attack of opportunity from Cackler Nine. It shall do just that. <clears throat> it missed by a mile. <laughs> All right. I'm glad about that. Because now I get to bring much pain to this man. So I'm going to go just in, to ensure that this hits. Are you sure you're not going to heal Markov? Are you sure? there, there's. Korn said he's a good healer. I trust Korn. Okay. <laughs> I trust Korn. Because. Too. Uh, I believe the Master of Cruelties goes before... No, wait, after, oh, after. Oh, Thank no. God. Oh, I, I looked. Mm -hmm. I looked. Um, I looked at the turn order. <laughs> right, their turns are right next to each other, though. Alright, so, first, uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to make an attack against him. <clears throat> God damn it, that doesn't hit, I don't think. You have a communal reroll, though. I can do. I want to use that, please. <laughs> Take it. Go for it. Take it. Take it. Do it. Actually, I oh, think wait. Nim Hold needs on. that because for you know his <laughs> cooking. Actually, before you do, make a wisdom save. Make a wisdom. Ah, uh, that's right. You know, if the corn does do, does not it does not win the wisdom check, Marco may just die from corn. Um. Well, I well nothing would have been in. Wait, no, because I would have uh, attacked Cackler. I would have attacked Cackler nine then. Yes. So let me roll that attack on. Id. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> or do you want to just use the roll that I put against the Master of Cruelties against? Uh, the cat no, nine. No, that's a different target, different role. Alright. Don't worry. I can still attack again. Alright. And the cackler won't kill uh Markov. <laughs> well, it yeah, you far miss away. <laughs> no, I I I I'd be worried that the cacklers would set off a chain reaction. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh does did, did, I, did I miss the cackler? You missed the cackler. Okay. And then I Yay, shall come over here. Target. <laughs> use my war priest ability to attack again. <laughs> this time <laughs> against the master of cruelties. <laughs> and now do you want me to roll uh, roll my attack again? or Yes. Use the okay. And I am 
you know, that, that'll hit. So I, I won't use my channel divinity. It indeed strikes. <clears throat> Will you put some extra oomph into this? Movie? I don't think I can because my extra oomph was wasted by fucking Gackler 9. <laughs> damn him. Damn him. <clears throat> yes, damn him. Because I was going to... I was going to... Because I was going to double strike a cursed target. <clears throat> Wait, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to roll attack. I want to roll damage on him. There we go. That's yeah, what I, I wanted. <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> that... That fucked me so hard. <laughs> Damn his aura. Damn. I was... I was gonna do so much damage to this man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is a master of cruelties. And, and I well, weep. <laughs> they they are terrible opponents. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll set well I, I still did a decent chunk of damage to him between my this the spiritual weapon and my attack, so Speaking of which, did you swing your spiritual Ah, that's right, yes you did. You yes. swung it first and then you moved. <laughs> Yeah, remember we were worried about it killing Cacklers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Elemen. Things are looking spicy over there. Elemen, help. Run up and throw your javelin at someone. I... May thine aim be true. May th could I even throw my javelin? Is it is 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 it have to it, run? No, it will, it'll teleport back to your hands because you're not allowed to use any other weapon until you use up all of its charges. What I'm more, what I'm actually what I'm worried about is that both the master of cruelty and more uh, and mold are on the way. Did you not be disarmed of it <clears throat> until you've used all the things? Uh, say that again. Can't you not be disarmed of the weapon until you've used all the things, too? It is very hand. true. <laughs> yep, it, it, it literally goes back to my hand whenever I throw it, if it hits. Gotcha. But if it, even if it doesn't, I assume it goes back as well. <clears throat> yeah. It just, it just won't use up a charge if it doesn't hit, I think. I have to hail Mary this time. Damn it! I I am not I am not I am not in in enough range to to throw to throw it normally. I'm gonna have to do it at a disadvantage. Oh no! <laughs> Yikes! It doesn't help that Markov's prone, but you can't have further disadvantage anyway. Yeah. I would say aim for corn, because corn's yeah, gonna heal. Yeah, go for corn. Get I don't... them as much health as you can. Well, it's still disadvantage either way, so... Wait, what? Yeah. I didn't even throw that. It worked! Oh, it did? Yeah, you got a 16. You got a... Mm-hmm. Okay, then I throw it at corn. Now, remember that thing I told you about? Uh, or do you no. need a reminder? Yeah, give me a reminder. All right, we'll give it to you. Oh, DM things. <clears throat> what have you done, Element? I don't know if I should be scared or happy. <laughs> you turn into a plant. <laughs> Wild magic, huh? <laughs> Well, if I if I turn into a plant, you know it has to be a uh, a corn stalk. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> you turn into a literal corn snake. <laughs> oh. He was put into the pit of death. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> yes, I threw him in the pit of death because that was uh, worthy of it. By the way, you said I'd be, I'd be a corn snake. He is a corn snake. I brought my Discord back up, ready to throw you into a worse one with you starting to say something like that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, how how much does corn get healed for? One moment. I get healed for negative something <laughs> because the spear doesn't like me. We're we're going over it. We're going over a class feature that I suppose Element's not very familiar with, as he's not used it much. <laughs> Ah, I see. Here it is. I'd have to look that up. Let me check real fast to see if that would be complete. Unfortunately, that is a that is a melee only. Okay. Are you trying to smite corn with healing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I, I I actually can't do that with this beer. But I don't have I don't I don't have I don't have regular smite on, on my spell slots. I. But for you, some it's some, it's something you have to put in. It, it is a paladin class feature that is not automatically done for some, that for some reason. For some reason, I have two serious smites on, on on my spell list. The, most of them must have been a regular smite, and it got glitched or something. Weird. I'll look at that later. Yeah. So, what what level of spell would you like to use? Level two. All right, that is three d eight plus the standard corn. You're getting smote, smoten with healing. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said you said three three d three d eight. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> the spear's coming in clutch. The spear's coming. <laughs> Why is it not rolling? That is Just roll awesome. it on the table. The the healing smite. <laughs> All right, and the regular damage. Uh, roll that on the. Oh, sorry. No, no, that works. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, it's D eight plus your strength. D six yeah. plus your strength. Yes. Yes. Uh, Modifier. Yes, is the is the is the one D eight plus four. It says it says right here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> So, Corn, receive healing. 19 points of healing, if I'm correct. Yes. Feels good. You feel incredible. You feel... Thine healing spear has one charge left. <laughs> but you may have saved this. But you... <sighs> and I'm gonna is gonna breathe a sigh of relief if he saw that his spear connected, even even though he was out of he, he was out of reach of a proper proper throw. Will that will that I I suppose that'll be all. Malt seems concerned. Please don't roll uh, bad uh, on as, the table. Uh, as like a holy light just like shoots down on corn. <laughs> his his spear wounds mend. Stop bullying, my friends of diminutive size. <laughs> stomp, stomp, bite. Did uh, Malt make his save? Oh, that's right. 
Although I will say, I Although. think Graham did most of the damage to the Master of Cruelties. <laughs> I, I would say yes. That double crit sure did help. Yeah, no. Did. <laughs> Graham is feeling proud of himself. <laughs> All right. How many? How many targets are there? Five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. <laughs> oh no, we forgot Malt has reach. <laughs> we have game breaking influence. One moment. Oh, well, let's have at it. All right, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. What is it? Well, I sent it to the player it involves and because things that directly impact players like this have to be approved by okay. them first. <laughs> so, all right. I'll accept. Okay, uh, all right. All right. <laughs> what has happened, Digi? <laughs> an, an attack roll against Corn. Oh. oh no! Corn! No! It's not a crit, it's <laughs> a <cr> But Malt <laughs> hit so hard. <laughs> he hits. Very hard, but let's hope it, it could be fine. Well, at least Graham should be the, the, the target focus now. Okay, he rolled very low, but he's still down. Because God. now there's no one to heal Markov. Yep, uh, no... But Graham should be Graham or Malt should be the tar focus of the attacks. I would hope. There's also the Cacklers. Yeah, but their master's almost dead. They clearly want to save their master from death, right? Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> However, <laughs> now that his primary target is down. Uh, does that... Can he attack a different target? I don't see why not. Am I able to, as I go down, make a last-ditch effort to do something? Yes. <laughs> what would thou like to do? As I'm going down... Push rebuke! <laughs> <laughs> Throw a heal on Markov. High or low? High. You succeed. Yes. Heal. Thank you, Corn. So does he have to direct the rest of his attacks at Corn? Uh, he's, he's only mandated to do one, but okay. I do not think that you can just switch targets. Uh, yeah, okay. no, because it was a single attack action. He's not like, he's not like me, where I was like, I have, I can use this thing to give myself a completely different attack action. <laughs> yes, he has multi-attack, but... So yeah, at least he doesn't have to keep stomping your dead corpse. Just be thankful for that. Yes. You 
You almost got bitten half by a turtle. Your torso is much thinner than it used to be. <laughs> He's corn is just stuck between Malt's teeth. <laughs> He's like, ah! Corn, how about a death saving throw? <laughs> There's one failure, and that's your turn. It's time for, it's time oh, for the ma <laughs> it's time for the master of cruelties. His I, previous I, dance partners like, gotten like back say, up. Uh, I would like to say Malt and Graham have been doing a lot to him. So, you're right. <clears throat> Graham, high or low? Uh, low. He's attacking Malt. He's attacking. Okay. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> He's very interested in having nothing more to do with this turtle. <clears throat> First attack pinks off his carapace. Second attack. Strikes true. Alt can shrug that off. <laughs> See, this is this this is the danger of the Master of Cruelties. Even if it's just him, that just means that there's more chance for friendly fire. Markov, you're up! A wisdom saving throw, if you please. A wisdom For sure. Oh no. You! <laughs> uh, a random target within melee distance. Hope it's not corn. If you hit corn, I'm gonna be forced to heal him, which means I can't kill the Master of Cruelties. Actually, <laughs> if he connects corn, that's two automatic fails. Corn will die. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> He's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Oh god. We we just wanted to to run. <laughs> no, a master of cruelties is a proper nightmare. <laughs> Especially if you engage him as a group. That's what roll a d6 1 2 yeah, attacking... number his number your targets, roll an appropriate oh, dice. Oh. oh, you're asking me to roll one, or? One, two, gram, two, three, that's uh, right, yeah. One, two, gram, three, four, master, five, six, corn. Roll a d6. Sure, I can do that. Don't, don't roll a five or a six. I got a two. I got a two. Okay. However, you can roll the dice too. You, you strike at gram, you strike. I, I thought I'm it would okay be with this. one rolling. Because he's one you attacking. Don't, you don't want to be the one rolling. So Markov is hitting... Graham. Graham. Yikes. You could miss. And you're just smacking me with your melee weapon. Not, not like you're just attacking me all out. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm going to use an action surge and just hit Graham That again. does not hurt me. <laughs> I am fine. Well, thank you very much for that donation. See, nothing bad happened. Ethereal influence tries to kill Cord, and that makes it all better with a donation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the donation goal's already been, you know, completed. Sure but... enough. <laughs> and therefore, and thusly, Raylil was yeah. thoroughly flummoxed. That's the end of my turn, correct? Yes. Or, okay. Unless you can do more. Nope, that's it. Cackler I'm just, 7. <laughs> I'm just deleting my cannon because my... Uh, ah. When, when I go down, it's, my cannon it's, 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 it's right next to corn. <laughs> yes, but clearly malt, uh, <laughs> uh, malt is the bigger danger here. 
It sees an easier target over there. It sees an easier target. Come on, DJ! <laughs> they gotta save their master. <laughs> are you are you scared to uh to kill me, DJ? No, you're right. <laughs> Corn. <laughs> Let's hope this misses. Let's... Because they are opportunistic little fuckers. If they're opportunistic little fuckers and he's already next to me, why isn't he coup de for an auto kill? Does, does why, does he, my, why is he does attacking? Why doesn't he just... Does, does my spiritual weapon... No, wait. No, because there's an al... I think there has to... There can't be an ally within, like... Like... Your normal like melee range of you, I think. Yeah, I think. there can't be an ally that can make an attack of opportunity. Can the sword make an AO? It cannot. No, it would not be able to. <laughs> then it can't stop a coup de gras. I thought coup de gras were like certain classes only. I've never yeah. dealt with them before. Coup de gras, okay. coup de gras do not a... exist anymore in Five E. Oh, oh, thank God. Um, yeah, I wasn't DM familiar with still... the term. Some DMs still put it in, uh, but by raw, it does not exist anymore. Because frankly, there's nothing quite as bad as failing a single roll and winding up paralyzed and then getting, you know, coup de grade by an enemy. Yeah, I had that happen, like three times in my first game. True. So, okay. not a thing anymore. Okay, then. I did not know that. I'm, I'm used to uh, other sessions, uh, other systems. Yeah, I also thought attacks only added a single check mark. Well, I believe attacks. Maybe? I'd have to look at it again. Yeah, it should only add one single check mark because I think, just like Zimza, uh, that's why they removed the coup de gras and um, it added the checks instead. If they crit you. Then it is uh, two failures. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's just one. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's what it was. I I remember reading like if if you get that hit said, with a melee attack while you're down, it's an auto crit. I, that might be the. Actually, I think that is a cr the case. It, I think it is an auto crit. Um, but it's up to the DM in general. I usually play with the role of, you know, they they cannot miss you. So no matter what, you're getting at least one. But if they roll a 20, then it's two. Fine with me. They're opportunistic little bastards, and there's literally two of them. Goodbye, Corn. You didn't get to play long. <laughs> Digi is very keen on killing you, apparently. Okay. I've had DMs go out of their way to try and murder characters. Yeah, Digi, Digi, Digi is very is very merciful in 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 that in that regard. So I am. Hey, it missed. <laughs> hey. Huh? Didn't think that would. Well, all right then. You, you may live to see another day. As they strike the ground with their spiked chains instead of you. I mean, it's up to you as the DM, but I, I said that it. Yeah. I would say they can't you... miss, but. Well, I'm just rolling the uh, regular, uh, regular attacks with advantage. Is what okay. I'm doing. Fair enough. Isn't there like a DC ten just to basically hit anything? Yes. Is it? I've not, yeah, like, I've not been in the situation like, very much, so... Basically anything, like, anything lower than a 10 is basically automatically a miss, because the lowest AC anything has is 10. Unless it has a negative dexterity. Well, if I'm unconscious, I'm considered to have zero dexterity, which is negative 5. Oh, really? So I would have an AC right now of... 7. Your ass is dead. Then yes, you are bike chained to death. 
No, corn. No, I blame Cray. Cray runs away, and his slave gets killed. <laughs> God fucking damn it! Imagine if Cray was here. The cacklers Imagine. cackle. Imagine if there wasn't someone working a nine to five job. Cray. Yep. Oh, hey, you've been paying attention? Yeah. Okay. I've been I... here this whole time. I don't know what you're all on about. <sighs> well, don't worry. You have a whole building full of powerful people. There's probably someone who can get them back up. Oh, God. It's... Ugh. Revivify does exist. Speaking of uh, the building died, full of powerful people, where are the guards? Yeah, that's, that's where is the well, all the initiates <laughs> ran away. So those were basically the guards of this room. Where's the guards? And the those other guards are also. probably occupied by the other Rakdos. Um, shit, fuck. Markov, you need to y you need to find a way to just run the fuck away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, did you don't forget the master gets his buff again? Oh, that's right. He heals. <laughs> well, not heals, but he gets that strange something again. <laughs> gets the feet on the crowd. So as long as anything dies, he'll get it. Yep. Because we had one death. Yes. <laughs> that's why engaging him in a crowd is difficult. <laughs> All right. Uh, spiritual weapon shall attack him. <laughs> Boy, again. Boy, that spiritual weapon is literally on fire. It starts to burn. It starts to... It, and somewhere in the back of his of Graham's mind, he's just like, I hope that Philip guy isn't still watching this goddamn room. <laughs> Precise <clears throat> magic, maximum damage. Yes. <laughs> Forget to clear the crit. Yes, clear crit. Do, 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 do. That's roll attack on again. Max damage. And bam. I don't think you maximize that damage. I clicked the max button. I don't know why it only did five. Well, I can edit that. I can... <clears throat> Weird. And curse damage. Now you made your wisdom save, right? Oh, right. Shit. Fuck. Please be good. It's, uh, well, <laughs> you have you have two targets. All right. <sighs> All right. High or low, Markov? Low. Roll it, DJ. Let's have at it. Six. So yes, I hit I hit the 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 the, the master of cruelties as intended. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> and now I can just go all out. <laughs> Channel Divinity, War Priest. <clears throat> that hits. That misses. No, it hits because of War, because of my Channel Divinity, which adds oh, that's plus right. Ten. <laughs> yes, that then then certainly that will connect. Yes. 
I I wasn't leaving shit up to luck. <laughs> And more curse damage. <clears throat> and I attack again! <clears throat> Sorrow. Sorrow. Uh, this also helps that. I wish I had more channel divinity. <laughs> oh well. Markov, you, you, you need to flee to somewhere where you can't get hit. If I run, he's going to hit me again. Disengage. If, <laughs> if you pass your wisdom save, just disengage. Yes. <clears throat> disengage and flee. All right. All right. So. Back to the top. Back to the top. I do recommend that Elliman get at least uh, 15 feet away from Malt just to make sure Malt has one less target. Two less targets. He's still got Eileen. He's still... Mm. What are, what, what are uh, Grams and Markov's HP? Markov's is low. Grams is okay. Yeah, I, I'm fine. If you need to heal someone, heal Markov. I'm <laughs> For the love of all that is good, <laughs> heal Markov. Does that hit you, Markov? It misses. It misses. Yeah. Aww. <clears throat> it, it does? Oh no, it misses. Yeah, that's right, you have uh, a you have an AC of 18. I would mm -hmm. like to point out uh, oh, that yeah, if you're you not attempting like... to... If you are not attempting yeah. to dodge this attack, you could take away your dex bonus to your AC. Okay. And that uh, and that uh, makes sure that I can that it does hit you. That would that oh, yeah, would definitely hit you hit, then. That's gonna hit me. That's gonna be a sixteen. <laughs> just just enough. Okay, I am I am I am see I I am, I am healing you with with smite again, or rather I'm healing you with smite. Cool. Since I don't have smite ready, I'm just gonna have to do it right here. <laughs> Plus four. So that is right. twenty-five. Yep. You're feeling healthy, Markov. <laughs> yeah. And that was the, and that was the la the last charge of the spear. What is what what is, what what happens to the spear now? Well, you can just switch weapons now. <laughs> you can, and. It's not healing anymore, but it'll recharge the following day. Okay, so, but it still comes back to my hand. It does not. You, you, the magic you, is you, bent. Yeah, you, you can you can drop it now, but come tomorrow morning, you'll find it back in your hand. Oh no, sweet. no, no, no! Now, now you can unbond from it. The magic is spent. You have your oh. chance. However, oh. if you re-equip it, yeah. it is bonded. I see. Also, does that mean that it's stuck? That is stuck on Markov right now. Yes. Okay. At least, at least it, it, it didn't hurt him. I am leaving. You just need to not be within fifteen feet of Malt. <laughs> I mean. I I am. I'm. A, I am. A, other. Other than. Other. Other than my camp, I'm kind of a melee fighter. I don't want to get near that thing. I don't want to hurt you guys. Very. Fair enough. And I, I, oh. 
All right. Malt. Please. Please, Malt. And it's good. He is very upset right now. <laughs> But can can I retroactively move like to here so that we come next turn? I don't have to smack Markov. I'd allow it. All right. Thank you. Slap slap. Flippy slip slap. I I, I was just like, oh yeah, that's right, because that that the the attack is forced at the beginning of my turn, so I would have I would have yes. wanted to have moved. <clears throat> The turtle has had enough of your shit, Master of Cruelties. <clears throat> God, you are a tanky fucker. You are a tanky. <clears throat> He's still up. <laughs> Oh my god! Jeez. <clears throat> Corn is no longer with us. Mm -hmm. Corn is dead. The master of cruelties. <laughs> what shall he do? Well, I suppose Turtle. a big snake did. Er, the big turtle did just rip him, rip into him. So, I can only wonder. Let's leave it up to chance. Let's leave it up. God okay. damn chaotic evil fuckers. He's turning on Graham. He's turning. Bring it, asshole! <clears throat> uh, 14 misses, yes? Yes, that misses. Alright. Yay. You dodge. <laughs> you dodge. Oh no. What, is it a crit? Because I have a thing for that. <laughs> yes, it is, actually. Yes. I use my uh, my recently acquired ability feat, second chance. He now has to re-roll that. <laughs> Lovely. I, I, you activated my trap card. <laughs> cool. Ha! Ah. Good. Oh. It turned into a 10 instead. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be right back. Okay. You have dodged both strikes. However, you feel you've spent an amount of luck today. <laughs> I, I, I lo second chance is awesome. <laughs> Markov! Right. Roll a wisdom save. However, there is no ally, uh, there is no one other than the Master of Cruelties to strike. Exciting. Does that mean he actually even needs to roll this? Because he, he, it's not like he can attack an ally. <laughs> oh no, it's because it forces him to melee attack, that's right. Yeah. He could, he could be trying to take a different action. Yeah. Like casting a spell or something. Alright, Markov, smack that man. Come at the... Uh, that's a hit. Nice. It strikes true. It's... Rolling for slashing. Mm. 
Will that be your turn? Oh, no, uh, he's going to uh, disengage if that's possible. Actually, uh, no, it's no. not because you used an attack action. Gotcha. God, Disengage right. takes your action. Exciting. All right. uh, as a, can I use a bonus action? You may. All right, we're going to use second wind. Oh. Yeah. Um, On your turn, you can use this bonus action to regain hit points equal to 1d10 plus your fighter level. Do it. I'd say that's Do a very good... It. That's that's very good as those uh cacklers yeah. are eyeing you up. <laughs> yeah. Right. So just restored by an HP. HP. How much? Uh just wrote okay. Eleven. <laughs> then I still need to add that plus uh the uh, amount of health element added or healed me for. Got to add that on there. I don't even know if I can actually Edit the uh, HP. I can. Okay. Well, actually, you can on your character sheet. Okay. Oh, okay, I can. Uh huh. Oh. All right. I'll work on that. Uh, what's the turn? Uh, Jaffa has to head off now. Sorry, guys. Um, since oh, that's totally fine. And- since, since I'm dead anyway, it's not going to make much of a difference. Just wanted to let oh, you guys yeah. know that I need to head off. Yes, yeah, right. this, this combat has, has taken the amount of time, hasn't it? Yeah. We, we won't, we won't As go over... most combats do. Yeah, we have gone over an hour of, of our usual time now, by now. N- under normal circumstances, I could keep, I, I could stay. I've just got something on today that I need to take care of. Yes. Um, nope. Digi, Don't worry. I'll send you some... Uh, PMs via Discord to discuss what what happens. Yes, we'll bring you back to life one way or another. <laughs> uh, donation goal for next week. Is there someone in the entire council that knows Revivify? Yes or no? To <laughs> <laughs> be, and even if not, there's so many Selesnia people here. Just that in is- another room, they'll that- he'll be fine. That is true. He's they, already they, dead, though. Slesni aren't necro. They, they don't know. Uh, Golgari, then. There's also Golgari here. <laughs> there's Golgari. There's probably an angel or two. <laughs> hey, but there, Boros, I mean, there might yes. be. Angels aren't only Boros. I'm pretty sure, like, the Azurius might have, like, one or two in there. But yeah, we have been going quite a while, and I've just kind of been sitting here, like, well, Cray ran, so. God, I'm going to be so dead tomorrow. I literally had nothing to do this entire session. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you, you didn't attend. You didn't attend. <laughs> I wanted to, However. but you decided to schedule it where I was working. <laughs> <laughs> to make a bit of conflict to decide, do I do I care about my job more, or do I stay with the party? You picked job. <laughs> you picked... <laughs> but yeah, because it's what he loves. It's his passion. It is. You should yes. understand the character's motivations by now. And I do. However, there was Plus, also you know, the, the opportunity to not... say, I don't think I can come into work today. These peop- these crazy fools are after me. I need to go. This is his first and day! Yeah, you, you cannot. Day? You cannot do that on your first day. Yeah, Plus, you have also to wait fact... at least a week before you're <laughs> like, I can't show up, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and, and even then, there's also the simple fact of, as far as Nim was concerned, everything was going to be fine. He'd probably be serving them some dinner uh, later on, and instead, well, Cord's not going to oh, no. be showing up. And, <laughs> and, and now, Nim is gonna, now Nim is going to try to One tackler missed, corn. one tackler hit. <laughs> this is the first session I think we've had where uh, we're not ending with Nim giving us food. Nim, we're, gonna, we're gonna end this session with Nim giving other people food. <laughs> All right, Graham. All right, first things first. <clears throat> the wisdom saves. Uh, no, spiritual weapon smack. Ah, uh, yes. Because <laughs> it does that regardless of whether or not. Uh... Well, you do have to use a bonus action for it. No, it's a bonus action to move it. <clears throat> It'll attack anything that's near it at the start of my turn. <clears throat> uh, 
I think that hit. Damn it. One more higher and it would have also been a crit. No. It is that you have to use your bonus action to attack. Hey, isn't isn't Mo supposed to be a five by five? Usually he's six by six right now. Oh, curious. Maybe I didn't send it down right. No, it's, it's fine. A six it's a Oh right, you decided to make a custom. Uh but no, spiritual weapon is as a bonus oh, action yeah, yeah, yeah. you can move it and attack, but you still need to use a bonus action yeah, to oh, make it. Oh, yeah, I see I see that now. Yep. And then so that hits. Uh do 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 do. Good smack from the spiritual weapon. Uh, you you rolled the oh, attack roll, and not yeah, damage. Yeah, I see that now. A good attack you from the spiritual bring weapon. Bring him down. He buckles and falls. Gonna, gonna curse damage him. And... I get health because I absorb a bit of his life force as the spiritual weapon just stabs him through the fucking heart. <laughs> Lovely. Stab, stab. stab. <clears throat> so as the as the curse finally breaks with his death, the the flame shall heal my the the flames return to me and heal my wounds. Motherfucker. Oh, he's dying. <clears throat> He's the dead. champion is down. <laughs> Graham is going to death. Is going to glare at the cacklers <laughs> with oh, fury. <laughs> they're not looking. They're not. They're not liking their odds right about now. So you've got. You've got your uh, whole. You've got your whole turn. Well, you've got your movement and action. If you'd like to introduce no, I use, one of I, them, I, 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 will, I will yell. I will be like, "You'll, you're next if you don't surrender this instant." <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Life, yeah. Graham will just be like, "You, you have actually." He'll, he'll just be like. You have you, your your best option right now is to surrender because if you oh, don't, death is really the only thing that could possibly happen, and it, he's gonna I'm gonna roll persuasion. <laughs> death is mercy at this point. God fucking damn it! I mean, I'd say you have advantage. You just took down that dude. You're true. Okay, I shall roll another one then. <laughs> Persuasion. It, no, <laughs> it's, it's a thirteen. <clears throat> they're they're weak willed. They they have a seven to wisdom. They're they're gonna listen. They're just gonna float down and sit while like eyeing the snake corpse and hoping you're not too mad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Graham has far worse fates for them. <laughs> and I believe, perhaps, with a quick check over with how Nim's doing over at the restaurant, we can call it a session. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I mean, I know there's people that need to get going, so we can just not do that. Tonight. Yeah, all right. Combat is one, and I will say, uh, Jaffer will talk about it. However, you have Just all got gained a level the from this. Even I if? Just imagine. You want 
Frey, next session, you're going to have something interesting. Oh. Because you are on your way to where that fox is, and you know exactly where to go. I do, don't I? Yes. You won't get your level just yet. That'll be after your special encounter. Prepare to fight by yourself. <laughs> should this be something? Should this be something we do like between sessions, or should we do it on stream? I think it best be done on stream. All right. Well, on the plus side, even though I got nothing to do during the session itself, I was able to make use of my time because it seems that Twitch and YouTube figured out the nonsense going on between them, and I got all the videos uploaded and set to post. Wonderful. Hey. Nice. Very good. Of course, that took most of this time, so, you know, that's a yeah, plus. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining us today for Guild Tales Dungeons and Dragons. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, all those things there on the website as well as down in the description below. Thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. It is because of your support that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I really could not do it without you guys. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It's one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by uh, grabbing some merchandise over at zgfgaming.store, sharing the stream around, and uh, becoming a patron, and I already said that one, but you know, it, it's a big help. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again so much for joining, and I bid you all the most fundest adieu. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for those biddies, Toshime.